Hey. Hello. Welcome back. We made it, chat. We made it to another week. Hello, welcome. It's you. That's right. It's me, Jupiter. Uh, Jupi. Juniper. Uh, it is me. I am back. She. <laughs> What do you mean? My voice didn't crack? My voice doesn't crack, chat. I'm a woman. I'm immune to that shit. No, chat. I'm not a fur- You sound- What? You- You sound 15% more like Elmo today. What? What the fuck are you talking about? I'm not entertaining this. We just started. Hey, thanks for the tier two tree stalker. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the tier two glavos. Thank you so much. Thank you, Doggo Valador. Thanks, Queen of Traps. Thanks, Breadstick. Thanks, uh, Neuro Terra. Thanks, Sally. Salus. Thanks, Gwyn. Thanks, J Love. Thanks, Oh God, it's a monkey. Thanks, Catman Cat. Thanks, Deezer. Washi Bear. Thanks, Judgment. <gasps> hey, welcome back. It's disco day, baby. It's disco day. Um, do a Mickey Mouse. I'm not gonna do the Mickey Mouse impression. I haven't even warmed up. I haven't even warmed up or prepared. I actually never practiced the Mickey Mouse impression. Even though I could for a, for a single moment, for half a second, did a perfect Mickey Mouse impression. <laughs> Guys, I missed Kim. You think Kim knows how to disco? I don't know, man. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Uh, thanks for the 33 months, Lunar Hawk. And thanks, Bingy. Thanks, Bingy, for the 30 months. <sighs> New blue cat? No, no, no. No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I... So, so Kim isn't my waifu chat. Kim is like, um, how do I put it? It's like more complicated with Kim, right? I think like, um, yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like, he, he, he'd be like a very, very good friend, like a therapist even to me. <laughs> Kim is my unobtainable goal. Oh shit, is that what it is? Kim is a loving parent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, would I friend zone Kim? I don't know, guys. <laughs> he seems a lot older than me. But, he, but I like him, but I like him, he's, he's cool. You cannot use your friends as three ther free therapy. That's unethical. Fortunately, Kim Kitsuragi is a fictional character. And don't worry, guys. I never burden my friends with my problems. You burden us instead. Hmm. Shit. <laughs> Am I a burden to you, chat? Am I a burden to you? A single, like, golden tear runs down my golden god face. <laughs> Okay. Housekeeping. Yay. Housekeeping. Housekeeping. <clears throat> no D&D &D tomorrow. Uh, somebody is traveling. I'm sorry. This keeps happening. Uh, Thursday, I think I'll probably do more live 2D. I was thinking about maybe almost taking uh, a Thursday off, but I think I want to work on live 2D. Uh, the other day I went to a natural history museum and it turns out the antenna on your model corresponds to male moss. What are you hiding for us? Okay, so they don't 
Okay, so the reason that male moths have really bushy antenna is so that um, they can detect the pheromones of, of female moths because female moths will emit pheromones and the males will use their antenna to, to detect them, to catch the pheromones on the air. I, chat, have very bushy antenna so that I can um, avoid pheromones and avoid premarital sex and keep myself free of sin. That's why I have bushy antenna. <laughs> oh, your personality does that though. Well, um, oh, is there a Sunday stream? Yeah, so so here's the thing, chat. Is the schedule I post on Twitter, the image, that's just like the implied schedule. But then when I quote retweet it, I just say changes and stuff. Uh, having said that, I like, I, I said that I was almost gonna take Thursday off this week, but I wanted to do live 2D rigging because I, 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 I like made some more art. Like I'm gonna do some extra hairstyles and shit and I'm gonna do it on stream. Um, 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 having said that though, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm also going to do Song of Saya on Saturday and I'm also hanging out with Joel on Saturday before that. And guys, uh, I'm going to run myself into the fucking ground. So I'm probably gonna take Sunday off. Yay! Yay! Implied schedules is an oxymoron. <sighs> Guys, only probably. Only, well, only probably. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta take a little break, chat. I got, I've been, I've been, uh, been going a little too hard. Well, not really, not that much, not that too hard. I'm having fun. Are you having fun? I'm having fun. Um, but I don't, I, I don't want to show up to Sunday and be like, ugh, I'm so exhausted. I have nothing to talk about. And then end stream in an hour and a half. <laughs> if Junie takes Sunday off, we miss out on Yoki for another week. Bah. Hmm, maybe I will post Nyoki on internet. Hmm. Either way, that's just like tentative right now. I might change my mind, okay? Guys, Nyoki is getting bigger. You guys haven't seen him in a couple of weeks, so you probably wouldn't be able to tell, but he's gotten bigger. I like swear, he's gotten like beefier because I've been feeding him really well. Is he still grumpy? He a little grumpy. He's just a little grumpy guy. We're, I'm rubbing the fact you can't see him in your face. Yeah, are you jealous? Are you jealous? I get to see him whenever I want. I glance over and he's like, just wiggling around and shit. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Anyways, uh, I want to play disco. I want to play disco. Uh, I don't know how deep, like, what percentage we are into the game. We've apparently been making very, very good time. Um, but the more I play this game, the more, um, <laughs> the more, like, worried I get that I might actually have, like, a breakdown. <laughs> I finish it because <laughs> it, it's really really well written and and it's like very it's like very raw and I'm like really worried <laughs> I'm like really worried I'm like really worried I'm gonna embarrass myself on stream again because it's probably going to affect me a lot hey thanks for the tier 3 argon thank you so much All right, disco time, disco, where's my app? There it is. Yeah, 
You embarrass yourself every stream? Yeah, but um some sometimes I don't I don't like people to know that I actually feel emotions, you know? You know, yeah, I don't sometimes I don't like people to know that it that it isn't all just hee 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 mentally ill moth girl, you know? So, sometimes I don't want people to a know that I actually feel emotions and it's not all just a bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, 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 they saw it. I have to disappear forever. Hey, thanks for the 33 months, Hattie. Mm, yes, the egg has been gestating, will soon hatch and burst from my chest as a magnificent larva of loon. 33 months. Oh, that's why you can't get bitches. You're not emotionally available. Oh, I would say so. I would say so. I, I'd be hella emotionally unavailable. <laughs> yeah, let me take my iron. Thank you for reminding me. We can tell. Yum, 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 yum. Yummy. Yummy iron, yum. No chat, I'm kidding. I'm emotionally available when it matters. Just sometimes I say shit on stream. That's like a that's like a joke. Or or that's like a half truth. Or that's like a truth under some circumstances, but not all circumstances. <laughs> Sorry, I'm good. Uh, here. Let me take my Sometimes, hey chat, do any of you guys, my mind is more complex than Umineko. Dude, I am a fucking enigma. Don't even get me started. Don't even get me started. The amount of times that people have told me that I'm like complicated or hard to understand. <laughs> but I don't think that's true. I- I am just a simple girl with simple desires. I'm- a, I, I'm just a little esoteric, that's all. You're about as complex as a kid's fast food puzzle book. <laughs> no, my facade is impenetrable! <laughs> I'll never let you in. <laughs> hey. We are at the end of day two, I believe. I, I think it is a Tuesday. We we found the, the 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 twink, and we're about to talk to his Sunday friend. Um, uh, many things. Oh my God, today is Tuesday. Right, right, I'm gonna- it's gonna take me a second to remember exactly what we're planning on doing for the rest of the night. Like, do we actually want to ditch- yeah, let's just ditch Kim after we talk to the Sunday friend, and then I might try to steal some of his car fuel. I don't know if that's something that's possible to us. But we'll see. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna steal the boots, chat. It just- it, maybe he's kind of sees- oh, he drives away. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, right. He drives away. You had questions you couldn't ask the girl upstairs, right? That's... Ah, fuck. Um, cl... 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 Her? I think I thought I did, but then we ended up talking to her and we sort of resolved her conversation. So I don't really quite remember um, why we needed to ditch Kim. Find your heraldic bird. Go read up on cockatoos in the bookstore. Oh, right. We also need to talk to the... I'm not talking to the scab leader without, uh, without Kim there. That just seems like a bad idea. Anyways, let's go. Let's go. Let's meet the Sunday friend. We've never met them before, but they might have some information for us. Some yummy, yummy information. I think we should check on Kuno and make sure he still doesn't give a shit. Oh shit. Party dragon silk robe.
Yeah, let me just check out this, like, fucking office before I even talk to this guy. Any snacks? Little treats? No treats for me? Aw. No treats for me, Firewalker, the last communist. Hmm. All right. Let's meet him. Officers of the Revachol Citizens Militia. You shouldn't be seeing him in an intimate setting. For some reason, you feel this man is your superior. Superior, but he's not in the command chain. Oh, does he, does he just have like... <laughs> what, does this guy just have like daddy energy? My What's name going is Charles on? Vildrouin, and I'm an official with the coalition government. Uh, never I work mind. for the Institute of Price Stability on assignment from Sur La Clé. A politician. I heard you talking to my friend outside. Very good. Super. I am here to assist you in any way possible. Ask me about the hanging. Capitalista. No, first ask an innocuous personal question to get the interview off on the right foot. No, that's good. Yes. That's good. Make it clear you're the one setting the terms here. Yeah. Let's fuck with him. Yes, okay. Who does he think he is? Assisting you? Um... <laughs> I absolutely have to inquire about this wonderful canopy. What about the silk robe? No, I have to point towards the bed. That's like more suggestive. No, 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 no. It's gotta be the silk robe. Oh wait, my mod isn't working. Oh, now it is. Oh, we got it from an atelier in the East Delta Commerce Center. Yeah. Did you fuck the Personally, twink on the bed? I think it's a little culturally insensitive, but the material is great. Sadly, the shop is now out of business. That's really all I can tell you about it. Oh. That didn't work at all. Oh. What was that? You were supposed to fuck with him, not compliment the decor. I, you only gave me three options halfway. The lieutenant takes out his notebook and nods to you mm. to proceed. You actually witnessed the lynching? I'm sorry to say I did, officer. He didn't see the hanging. He saw the little show staged by the Hardys. Let yeah, yeah, talk. yeah, yeah, yeah. He may know more than even he knows. Yeah, we have to pretend we don't know what's going on. Start from the beginning. Go on. Officer, it's very difficult to describe what I saw that night. It was so surreal to me, like in a play. It was so surreal to me. Like what do you mean, play. like in a play? It was just so strange. I could barely comprehend what was happening. I was on the balcony when it happened, getting some fresh air. I remember that first they came in, carrying what looked like a body. And then I saw all the surrounding windows go dead, one by one. That's when I understood. I should not be seeing this. Ah. Oh. That lines up with previous testimony, doesn't it? So basically, well like, everybody it. fucking saw this, and everybody just, like, they all, like, turned their lights off and, like, closed the shades. They're like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> I didn't see shit. Only that there were about eight or ten. I couldn't make out anything. It was so dark. And it was quiet. Quietest lynching I've ever heard of, <laughs> let alone heard. But I suspect you knew that already. I can't say I'm surprised. The fine reputation of the men and women serving in the RCM is well deserved. Hmm. Yeah, I already stole his silk robe, I think. I've got it in my inventory. What's an official like you doing in Martinez? Also, tell me about your beautiful... Wait, no, tell me about your beautiful twink friend ah, first. My friend. <laughs> my friend is a good young man. His yeah. family immigrated here from Kedra, and life has not been easy for him. But he understands the importance of education. He has taken his future into his own hands, and that's all that matters. Kendra. Kedra is a candidate member of APIS. But, between you and me, their potential membership is a more contentious issue. Oh? That it's never going to happen. They enter negotiations in 21, and it's been pending Chat, what ever is EPIS? There's so many goddamn acronyms in this game. Oh, oh, okay. EPIS <laughs> is a very special program developed by the Moral Intern to support certain Occidental nations. It began as a unified system of weights and measures, 
which proved to be a wild success. Peepus. Nothing but kilograms and centimeters as far as the eye can see. Huh. It was such a wild success that we expanded it into an economic union for the processing of steel. Another success. And between you and me, the moral in turn feels emboldened by this success. What does PEPIS stand for? Why, it stands for progress and stability, like the moral in turn as a whole. Ah, PEPIS. Progress and stability. Sure, fine. A supranational political alliance. The United States of Occident. You mean Revachon? No, it's going to have transparent choopy, 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 choopy. democracy. Thanks for the 32 months, your accuser. Is Revachol going to be part of the Peepus? It's one day going to be a candidate member of Hold EPI. on, let me hide sure. my fucking waveform visualizer. <laughs> do you say the candidate members never become no, real members? No, candidate members do become members. Why do we even have the whole system in place if they don't? It just takes time. Time and evaluation. You know, there's no way any of this means anything to me. But we were talking me. about my friend here, not politics. Yeah, how'd you two become friends, gives him the expression. How did any of us become friends? Bad things happening on the insulin Isola. Oil platforms ablaze in the night. Civil wars lasting for years. Finally, the international community is forced to step in. <laughs> no one becomes friends like that. Au contraire, it's how millions of people end up where they are, meeting the people they meet. It's how I came here, and my friend, too. You haven't told me who he is. Sorry, who? Your friend, the smoker on the balcony? But I told you, officer. He's a bright young man here to pursue his education. Education is the foundation of our future, especially the This arts. guy talks a whole fucking lot. It is a lot. cornerstone of our civilization. So all you can tell me about him is that he's here to study the arts. He's deeply enmeshed in the study of the fine arts, yes. Which arts? He's a truly free spirit. He likes all the arts. Perhaps graphic design? I wonder if he has pain. Who knows? The world is open wide for a talented youth like him. Hmm. I hope he has pain. Maybe I can... No, he doesn't. Uh, yeah, he's a fucking hell of a politician, isn't he? I hate this guy. <laughs> what are you doing here by yourself, handsome? I'm just enjoying the view. What view? Listen. The baby is crying in the neighboring apartment. Someone's baby is crying. No. Listen. The Insulindian Bay. Uh-huh. Yeah, what about it? This place used to be a luxury accommodation before the revolution. Apartments, of course, were much bigger then. A few walls have been added here and there, leaving some of the tenants without a private bathroom or a kitchen. But the million real view stays. You can't take that away. I was asking about your friend. My friend comes and goes. I'm sure you've seen him around. He's a busy bee. Gah! Bah! Gah! Talking to this guy was exhausting. I had something I'm else on mind. Officer. Yeah, what are you doing here? Answer me directly. Fucking takes my gun out, puts it in my mouth. Just answer the question. Just answer the question. The coalition is only looking out for the price stability. Inflation is a killer, like a heart disease blocking the normal circulation of the economy. It must be controlled. The economy impacts the entire international community which is why it requires international oversight. All right, what are you doing in this department? Apartment. No, dude, I don't care if you... You know what? We, we know that these two are fucking whatever. He's not going to answer the question. Why not his mouth? Ah, you see, it's a reference to a specific failed check that was supposed to happen earlier in the game for me, but I, like, made it, even though it was a really small possibility. <laughs> Okay, what are you doing here? Uh, well, I'm renovating it. Oh. It is an interesting project. The yeah, building used to I be a 12 story skyscraper before the cannons took the top four stories. Apartments and hotels every this, once of course, in a while. happened when the coalition forces landed here. You could say I'm undoing some of the material damage the international community caused when we arrived here. <laughs> 
So you're some kind of bureaucrat, huh? Yes. As I said before, I am a commissioner from sur la clé working for the Institute of Price Stability. This is one of the main projects of the Moral Inter. What is this international La community? communauté internationale is what Rivacholians colloquially call the coalition. The In coalition. other words, the nations that stopped the disaster of the revolution. What is the price stability? Price? It's like, because they don't, they, like, French people don't, they go like, they go like, price. It is know. the most important thing. That doesn't. Yeah, 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 that clears it's everything It's the up. central goal of any sound monetary policy. Maintaining the price stability is essential to maintaining high levels of economic activity, which, which is essential for maintaining the social stability. Bro, I haven't had enough caffeine Basically, for this, man. Basically, it makes man. sure the price of bread doesn't change. Precisément. Mm -hmm. Too much inflation, mm -hmm, bread mm -hmm. becomes too expensive. Uh -huh, too uh -huh. much deflation, it becomes too cheap for bakers to produce. That's why the Institute of Price Stability works to keep inflation just below 2%. 2% of what? Of inflation? But not too far below, no. Too below is also bad. The coalition believes in the importance of informing the public about the benefits <laughs> of the price stability. <laughs> I'm sick of this guy, is man. one of our principles. Would you like an informational pamphlet? No! Nah. A sound monetary policy <laughs> is essential no! for addressing uncertainty. But, oh, I don't have my leaflets on me today. That's too bad. You can always call our information line. Making information Call your information line! Call your commitment to transparency. Yes, yeah, sure, call my information line when I'm out of fucking TikTok compilations Whatever to put me to sleep! Officer. What if I told you there's a fugitive from the moral internet? Uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. Wait, but what if I- what if I have to, though? A moment, officer. A moment? Do you have everything you need from me? I'm afraid we won't have the chance to speak again once you leave. Uh, hold on, why can't we talk later? It's against diplomatic best practices for an official in my position to be discussing murders with local militiamen. And I'm pressed for time. After you leave, I should be leaving as well. Uh, I'm not going anywhere. I just want to look around the apartment. Sure. Go ahead. It's a beautiful space. I hate this guy. I don't want anything else to do with him, but I do want to wear his sexy little silk robe. Yes. Fuck yes. Okay. Yeah. Minus one drama. I don't want to minus one my drama, I think. Okay. <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> Half light's good. Half light's good. Okay, we'll keep that. Um, we got the drama. We got the drama. We got. We don't. We, I don't give a shit about electrochemistry. Maybe we should. Uh, no, never mind. Fingerless gloves. Oh no. What about? Do we have any? <sighs> Harry, this is just inappropriate now. I think this is just inappropriate now. Cool. Fuck yes! Fuck yeah! Holy shit, Kim. <laughs> Kim is, his stance is so cunty. <laughs> his stance is so cunty always. You have acquired the robe. Keep it, officer. It looks good on you. Yeah, that's what I thought. The tone somehow suggests to you that you're starting to become a little sponsored by him as well. Sponsored by him? Sponsored by him? What if I... Okay, what if we told him that there was a fugitive, you know? I, I want to know what he would have to say about it. A fugitive? 
Hypothetically speaking, you might add. Hypothetically speaking. Well, I would say that is very bad indeed. Not super. What sort of a fugitive are we talking about here? I'm pretty sure I saw them littering. Oh, ha 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 A good joke. Very funny. Littering is of course a local offense that need not concern the moral intern. Not disco. This is not disco. Very good. Now, was there anything else you'd like to discuss? I was just, hey, I wasn't throwing her under the bus. I was just curious to see what he would think about it. I wasn't going to tell her that she was a fugitive. <clears throat> tell him. Of course. Well, I feel like this wasn't anything. I feel like this was nothing. <laughs> Kim, thoughts? Whatever. Oh. Actually, I need to unequip this again. <laughs> it just drives me crazy. Shh. Thoughts on all this one, Kim? All right, this is what we're doing. Yeah, Twink, Twink is gone. Twink is gone. Um, let's go talk to the scab leader. Should we at least look our business best to do that? No, I thought I thought so too. I thought so too, chat. Go, girl. Chat, is the scab leader gonna give a fuck what we're dressed as? Besides, we get like drama bonuses from this. Did I unlock the homosexuality underground? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, is he? Did they already clear out? It's really quiet. Oh, never mind. Hi. Right to work! Right to work! Shame on you! Uh. <laughs> Should we just. No, 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 no. Let's. Here. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Or, or maybe he can have the benefit of the doubt, right? Or, take a look at this photograph. Don't think so. Oh. Suddenly. This feels like a really, really bad idea. They're on the body of the man. Is it a bad idea? Is it a bad idea? I don't think it's a bad idea. I think, I think it's gonna be fine. <laughs> what is he gonna do? Kill us? They're on the body of the man who is hung behind the cafeteria. Silence. He takes the photo. Gray eyes dart back and forth on mm -hmm. the glossy surface. Mm -hmm. You see dead flesh in colorful rivers of polychrome, melting skin and hair. Fucking loincloths really did him in. Can you tell me what the tattoo means? What it means? I can tell you what this one means. Only one. This is the same voice actor? You want to hear what happened here? Uh, yeah. Our colonel is deep in the bush here. Deep. In the fucking bush, in Benital, 41. Monsoon season. Mm -hmm. He's on a reconnaissance mission. He spent a month behind enemy lines, scouting kipped villages. Nothing but fucking bugs and snakes for fun. Mm -hmm. Men are getting restless. Mm -hmm. There's talk of switching employers. With some strange emotion. This is about to get really graphic. <laughs> maybe, maybe for the sake of my stream chat, because they're all like, uh, <laughs> actually. What's the matter, militia man? No stomach for it? 
This man was worth a thousand loincloths. We're done talking here. I think we should maybe even get Listen, going Listen, man, now. every... <laughs> I, I, I can guess, you know. There is absolutely no need to push this any further. Are you a mercenary hired by Wild Pines? Hell no. I'm just an honest scab. I won't have talk like that around here. You understand? His neck muscles tense up. The veins on his neck bulge. It just has to be said, that was not a convincing line. Hell no, I'm just an honest scab? That doesn't sound very convincing. I'll say very quietly, is there a tribunal being convened by any chance? Hmm, drama, drama, drama. Hmm. Fucking bug. How about you fuck off now, huh? Okay, of course. There could be weapons aiming at us right now. Somewhere above, in the buildings. The other Merc. Don't push this. He's thinking. This is not the time. I'm gonna... I'm... I'm gonna... I'm gonna push it. Fucking loincloth. Loincloth? Now you see, that's not really what a scab would say, is it? Better not to press the issue further, sire. He seems tense. The man's breathing steadies, but his eyes are still narrow. Slowly, he's trying to get his right to work dance back on. What's your goal here? We were promised work. We'd be in there, working, if the bastards hadn't shut the gates. You were unable to breach the entrance? Main gate's locked. Would take heavy ordnance to bust it open. But try to get in through the secretary's office. Doors the game locked. literally still locked. Junior had to do the stupidest stuff. The what do you mean? And I don't mean the scrawny mess punk either. I mean head measurer. Or whatever he is. Oh, measure head. I love measure head. I mean, I don't love measure head, but hey, we know that guy. <laughs> Have you considered storming in? Why don't you? Go arrest them instead. <laughs> I'm sure I, I, mean, I don't love Veterhead, but like we know him. Yeah, yeah, we had a we had a cordial conversation. He called me a ham sandwich man. Um It would be better for the neighborhood <laughs> if you went home. At least for now. If you can't get in anyway. No! They will give up eventually. Or get drunk. Leave the button unguarded. Then we charge. He seems to be following his orders well enough for now, but beneath it all, there is a boiling rage and a dangerous carelessness. <sighs> Do not be fooled by the programming. There is a precarious balance inside him, mm -hmm. keeping him in check. But it's mm -hmm. shaky as hell, and he's tired of it all. You know what? Maybe it's not. Maybe we're not going to get anything out of this guy. There was another mercenary around, though, right? A different one that wasn't a scab leader. He was, like, cosplaying as something else. Right, 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 right. Okay, now I remember. Now I remember. Okay. Officer profile incomplete. How did she solve the hanging before finding that? I don't know. I don't know. I've never played this game before. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, let's maybe talk to Titus, and then, uh, we send Kim away. Goodbye, Kim. I'm gonna miss him. This is really good, by the way. <clears throat> I'm gonna miss him. It's because we're a genius. Chat. That's how we solved the hanging first. Hey, boy. It's you again. What is it?
I talked to Claudia, and now I need to talk to Ruby. Why? Because she's your real leader! You're cuckoo, cop. I'm the only man responsible for this union. Get with it, or fuck off. Yeah, fuck off! I'm gonna level with you. She's the next link in the chain that leads me to Lely's killer. Sounds like you're making her a suspect in this. Not on my watch, you're not. Ruby's one of us. We're not gonna throw her under your moral lantern steamroller. Fuck that shit. And fuck you too, moral fa- <laughs> Ruby is missing. If you hide from the police in a murder together, investigation, Shanky. you become a suspect. You know how it works, guys. That's nothing. That's just legalese. You don't even have a sound theory. I don't want to be rude, but we're trying to get some R&R &R here. Think you could fuck off now? I think we'll keep sticking around, Titus. You'll be surprised at how quickly Ooh. a theory presents itself if you keep looking. Oh, hey, is my window... Wait, one sec. That's weird. Okay, anyways. Yeah, that's really fucking good. Present impossible 18. Present a solid theory about why Ruby could have done it. Can I read it, please? What are the bonuses I'm getting from this? Please. Plus one, stage like a play. Plus one, reconstructed murder scene. Found antique rifle. Clagier gave a motive. Secret route found. Ruby is a drug trader established. Nothing is What? Happening. The pieces are there, Oh my god. But they remain unconnected. Wait, was that a white check? No, 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 we can Sorry, do this. Sorry, you're not coming up with anything. Huh? Again, the pieces are there. She could have <laughs> done it. Somehow. Something else. Walla walla bing bang. It's what? just not coming walla, together. Walla walla bing bang. I don't know what it means, but it felt like the most appropriate thing to say. That's what the witch doctor would say. At least. Why am I such an idiot? No one knows. <laughs> You're not an idiot. Don't say that. <gasps> this is a really big mess, and being a detective is hard. Thank you, Volition. I squint. Still nothing. But that's okay. This doesn't have to turn <laughs> to some kind of meltdown. You're just a cop taking your time to present a theory. Hmm. <laughs> Mm, squints really hard. Let's look at this as a learning experience. What are the components you need to implicate Ruby? His wife left him. He needs to kill himself. Make her sorry she did. No, no. He huh? needs to say 500 <laughs> years and I can't remember the first line. Head, get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head. <laughs> my wife left me and I'm completely alone. I don't know what to say. To <laughs> That's sad, man. But why are you squinting like that? Looks to me like he's about to get aggressive. No, no. That's his concentration phase. 500 years and I can't remember the first line. You know... I'm beginning to think this clown is squinting at me because he wants to start something. I don't want to start anything! My wife left me! I should have killed myself! Nah, boss, he's just mentally handicapped. I've seen them do that! He is thinking. Let the man think. He fires a nod of solidarity in your direction. As Shit. if to say, take your time. It's okay. Oh, thanks, Kim. Um... Here you go. Access to the roof, weapon, and motive. That's not too hard. And here is what you can do to make it even easier. Come on, guys. Reporting for duty. A thorough search of this union box may help unearth something incriminating. Pin it on her. She's been here, right? Say, 500 leers and I can't remember the first line. I already did! No, no. No, he no, no, already no. said that, and <laughs> nothing good fighting? came of it. Just do what the nice, helpful guys said. 
and don't do the bad things. It's that simple. Uh, unless we have more business, we should. Okay, we, we have to take a skill point in logic. That's the only way. All right. Use clothes? Oh wait, yeah, well, yeah, we can use clothes as well, but like we have to take a point in logic in order to retry the check. <clears throat> Besides, I don't think I have any clothes that give me logic. And eye coordination? Oh shit. All right, let's get it. <laughs> Girl, fuck. Girl, fuck! Logic. INTJ stare. Hmm, I've already calculated exactly how this conversation will go. It's you again. What is it? Ninety-two percent. This is how Ruby could have done it. A sudden flash of lightning in your neocortex. The hostile cafeteria is lit by its airy blaze. Floor plans, bullet trajectories, webs of human emotion, all channeled into a single thought. Why are you so sure Ruby didn't off him? So that's what you were squinting at. You were trying to come up with a theory, weren't you? That she did it. Uh-huh. Yeah, he was cobbling together shit. Well, let old Titus set your mind at ease then. She didn't do it. She was here all night. Sunday night, 11.30 to 12.15. She was here all that time? Yeah, with us, drinking, near the stage there. She didn't go to the toilet? No. That's a lie. That's a lie? You know that's not the case. All right. She took a fucking leak, okay? For one moment. Maybe went out too. She has an operation to run from her lorry. We're not getting into what that operation is again, Kalp. That's probably for the best. Mm, don't mm -hmm, break mm -hmm. her story. I don't care. I don't care that you guys transport and drugs. Just I don't give a she shit. she gone for five minutes doesn't mean she magically got to the roof and shot him. I've been through this. It's not plausible. All right, we're in. We got Ruby unaccounted for sometime during the window. This was crucial. Now let's place her on Cow. that roof. You got his Freaking attention. Cow. Now don't ruin it by making weird claims. Remember, you can still mess this up. There's a secret route in the kitchen that leads straight to the roof. They're telling me not to be silly with it. They're like, Junie or or Harry, please, for the love of fucking God, for one time, pick pick the not funny option. <laughs> Grabs you around the throat. Harry! There's a secret route in the kitchen that leads straight to the roof. Tell him that. Oh. Looks like an abandoned pinball workshop. Mm -hmm. People say there was a pinball arcade here. Sometime before the hostel. What was it called, Theo? East Delta Pinball Arcade. <laughs> weird place. Went bankrupt. How about a pinball arcade can't be that weird? Okay, but how'd you get up? There's no room for a staircase in this building. Or an elevator for the elevator is outside the building. It's an old dumb waiter used for moving pinball machines up and down from the G workshop. G good one, Kim. Thank you. From there, a door leads straight to the roof. You can just step outside. Ruby could have gone up, shot him, come down. All under seven minutes. That's quite the theory. We need to have a look at that secret passage. <laughs> he said thank you. I love him. I'm on it, boss. Right when the law clears, me and Angus are going up there. It's a dumb waiter, not an industrial lift. How about I go and... Just now. You got something else to back this route up? Or is that it? 
you do agree that the shot came from the roof, right? Yeah, but here's the thing, chat, is, um... I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, let me let me cook with this. I think that... Hmm. I think maybe a Ruby might be a red herring. I don't... I, I think she might have just been watching them. I think she might have just been watching them and somebody else shot the Merc. And that's how... That's how she knew. A ruby herring, if you will. Perhaps. Perhaps. There is a 22% chance that it came from somewhere other than the roof. Maybe he had other enemies. Maybe a falling out with one of the other mercs. Or maybe it really was just ruby, which would also be fine, but... Why not? You can't draw a straight line into Clausius window from Have a good one, Cleric. buildings. Not from what I know about Martin Aves. Maybe from the coast. But like I said, I've been too busy dealing with you idiots. So no, I don't think it was a sniper. It was close up. Also, remember that Clausier was saying that she didn't hear a gunshot. Like, and I thought, I was like, oh, okay, I don't think it's that weird if, like, the gunshot and the glass shattering all happen at once. That might all just be, like, really confusing. Yo, thanks for the raid. Your balls are mine. Welcome. There was a 72% chance the bullet came from the roof. 72%. That is a percentage, you know. Where'd you get it from? Your guys in the lab? I'm a genius. Definitely lie. The truth is not credible. I analyze it on the spot. Turns out I can do that. No, we have to lie. It's drama, thank you, drama. <laughs> we have a ballistics lab. Wouldn't hurt to have one of those in Bartonet's. What else have you got? It puts her on the roof. Found footprints upstairs in the old workshop. Footprints. Recent. Mm -hmm. The tracks were recent, mm -hmm. but not worn down mm -hmm. in the right foot like Ruby's. It's best to omit this pesky little polemic for now. Too confusing. Recent. What else could you make out? Yeah. How recent? What size? Hold on, let me move my head. Or at least make it smaller. Horizontal? I see they taught you well in your RCM school. My old man, a hunter, and a half blind one at it, could have said that. Horizontal lines. Horizontal lines. Good lines. news is, I'm still listening. He knows they had to be recent for those lines to still read. This wasn't a failure. Hmm. Have we firmly established that Ruby could have had access to the roof? I don't think this isn't this isn't relevant. Firmly. We might as firmly well just doesn't go well with could have. There's a route to the roof. Me and the boys need to check it out. That's what we've established. But a route does not put that bullet in his head. You need his gun head. Does that, and Ruby doesn't carry one. Phase two. Murder weapon. Mm. Get a gun in her hand. If not that. Then at least a shadow of a doubt. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Now, now, now I know that I know what logic is trying to say here, but it really sounds like logic is telling me I need to physically, like, plant a gun on her. <laughs> there are weapons like this just lying around the Martinez. That looks antique. A Bell McGrave. It's inoperable. Where'd you get it? It's a cellar under the bookshop. 20, maybe 30 rifle status. Also broken, but still, there were too many. And there must be other caches too. God damn it. We need to close that dump down for good. Okay. I see your point. There are guns lying around. Damn it. I thought we'd found all the old spots. Why was that still there? Yo, thanks, Lesrid. We just missed one. Ruby doesn't know this place, boss. Just these cops digging up shit. Uh oh. 
ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> um, should I keep that to myself? Uh, I've already established Ruby's running drugs. She could have smuggled guns, so... God damn. That's just about your favorite topic, isn't it? Every fucking five seconds. You were warned not to bring it up. Your best shot here is to just back out. Okay, it. sorry, sorry. I'm not getting into okay, it. Sorry, cop. fuck. That's sorry, all cop. You need. I'm sorry, cop. Doubt. Hmm. How do I navigate this one, chat? I definitely don't, like, we need to keep this close to our chest. This is bad. This is real bad. The 20, I don't, I don't know, man, but he already thinks. Yeah. Let's just say it. There's a 28% chance it could have come from beyond the roof. Yes, God 28 damn it. I know yep. what a 72% chance means. It means there's a 28% chance it isn't that. And 28% is no small chance either. Just making sure we are on the same page. It doesn't all fit. We are just sharing info candidly. I didn't say it proves she had the murder weapon, just that we need to find her. All right, calm. Keep talking. P. We're not seriously considering it, are we? Ruby wouldn't do this. Why would she do something like this? Phase three. Motive. Motive. The, lo the big one. Get this and they'll give her to you. Remember, don't piss him off. That never works. Don't piss him off. Plage told me some pretty interesting things about Ruby. Well, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Would that piss him off? Throw her in. Yeah, I, 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 we don't want to piss it. We don't want to piss him off. We don't want to piss him off. No, because he's been like defending Ruby. He's been like backing her up. So I, I feel like if I said this, he'd be like, "Yo, yo, chill. Back, back to fuck up." Cla Clage is a dirty whore. Um, he is. Yeah, he's angry at Clage. It's not why did she kill him. It's why did she organize the cover up. And I suppose you have a theory on that. She could have just been covering up for herself, Titus. Think about it. Why go through all that effort? It was her idea, wasn't it? The hanging. You went along, but she suggested it. She had, like, a fully formed plan and shit. Right when she came back downstairs. Yeah. Really, Shanks? Clausio wanted to talk to another girl, that's all. She was just the first one up there. I could have come up with that plan. If I'd have been first. Time for a logics demonstration. Eugene, let's assume you killed him. He scoffs. Think, you kill him, get up there, shoot him, get down. Would you prefer to go on trial with your friends as a part of a lynch mob or alone for committing murder? The man is silent. If she used us to cover her own shit up, well, that's a serious violation of the Hardy Code, boss. The Hardy Code? Which is why she been. She would never do that. Why aren't more of you defending her? This is fucking stupid, Titus. Glenn, I thought the same She broke the Hardy Code, boys! Left us in this shit. Oh, so he didn't rule her out completely. And she skipped town. This is good. This is really good. This is really good. You have to see it. Things don't add up, Titus. Silence. The old man in the corner nods a very small nod and a trickle of tobacco spit on his lip. Ew. Yeah, I see it. There's one more thing I've been wondering about. 
ever since you asked me where she is. Mm. Add it to your list of suspicions, if you won't. I don't know. He's got something. I don't know where she went. She just got up and left. Got real scared, too. Wouldn't tell me where. However hard I asked. Want to know why? Yeah, what do you got? What do you got, Titus? She was afraid I would tell you. Maybe she was right. By now, I probably would. She knew there's evidence on her, and she knew we'd find it. This is typical suspect behavior, why fleeing is always incriminatory. Perhaps. Ask her if you find her. It won't be easy, though. She made sure of that. When she leave? This is what I'm saying, chat. Like, yeah, sure, there was, like, evidence against her, but that doesn't mean she killed him exactly. Friday afternoon, when you first arrived, I got word the RCM was in town. But she knew then there was evidence against her. Then she came in to see me. Told me she was leaving. That's when we had our little conversation. What was she scared of? I told you. You. Me, personally? <laughs> yes, you. The Wait, cop what? The sideburns and the disco clothes. Huh? Wait, huh? And a hole in his heart. That first. why she'd be scared i'm just a normal cop with regular thoughts in my head <laughs> sure normal you know when i first saw you limping here i thought she was paranoid or sniffing her own supply but now i'm not so sure what did she tell you about me she said you have a funny taste in clothes and that you won't stop. Won't stop? Until you have something on her. She said she's heard of you from Jamrock. That you're a human can opener. That you play suspects against each other. Open them up. Like cans. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Me, Firewalker, human can opener. Oh yeah, yeah, I fucking, I like that. Fucking hell. Titus, did he just... Open Angus up like a can? Yes, he did. We're now, badass. we can whine about it. Whack him. Or we can go on with our lives. I'm having a go on with our lives kind of day, Al. How about you? Silence. He nods. Kim! Kim! <laughs> Kim G giggles, nudges him with my foot. Kim, am I a can opener? You are insistent. Anything else? Anything? Yeah, there was something else. She wouldn't tell me, though. I could see she wanted to. It was burning on her lips. This cop, Titus, this cop, he... But she was too scared. Scared? You should be, too. A strange fear creeps over you. A metallic taste in your mouth. What Change did we the do, subject. Kim? What did we do, Kim? We must have done something. <clears throat> do you have any clues on where Ruby went? She's not far. We know that much. She didn't take her lorry. So, she's on foot. Good fucking luck, man. She knows this place like the back of her hand. You'll never find her. Yeah, Al. And we won't either. She's not really a hardy candidate anymore, is she? Did you ever inspect your case folder? Um... <laughs> um... <laughs> I don't have it. <laughs> I don't know where it is. <laughs> Wait, hey, hey, hang on, hang on. You guys can tell me after this conversation is done. She's not really a hardy candidate anymore, is she? She's not, Glenn. Have you looked for her? A little. On the coast. Where have you looked for her, more precisely? More precisely? On the coast. Past the water log. She's not here. So guys, I didn't even I'm need my fucking case folder. We, we solved the hanging. K kind of. We don't even need that shit. Can you tell me where on the coast I should look? Sure. There are some shit houses there. 
a cinder block town. The fishing folk there refuse to unionize, so that's one place we haven't looked. I hear they have a shack where junk. No, don't don't worry, crash. chat. Of course I'm gonna get the case. Time holder. for you to step up. We will start there. One more question. What does Ruby look like? Boyish. Hair's red. Dyed. She looks like a Lowry man. You know what she's doing with the Yulon frequencies? The what now? I have no idea. Boys? She said she's building a a pale emitter. What the fuck? What? We were talking about radio equipment. She said she's doing Yulon frequencies at a pale something. A pale I don't emitter. Know this guy barely understands what he's talking about. There you have it. Pale something. It feels like you'll get to know soon enough. It's not much, but it'll do. It'll have to. Yeah, Titus. Yeah, I'll shake Titus's hand. He's a... You know what? He's a good bean, I think. His grip is firm and reassuring. Like holding a piece of unpolished granite. Yeah, dap me up. Dap me up, Titus. Not just granite. Tightly packed RCM sergeant material. <laughs> yeah, I'll just... Uh, I'll just think it. I'll just think it. He sh No. No. He already is a sergeant. That's what you're feeling. He just wasn't sure what you are. What I am? I'm a human can opener. Hey guys, where's my case file? <laughs> um... <laughs> It's in the trash bin next to Kuno. All right, thanks. Uh, yeah, let's fix our fit. Let's fix our fit. Uh, I kind of, I, I don't get very many shivers, like um, rolls, but apparently those are really fun and really cool. I'm gonna wear normal drip, I think. Just a little bit. All right, let's go find Kuno. What have I done to Juniper? Hey, hey. You think you have a pretty hot suspect right now, don't you? That ruby of yours? Y yeah and notice how it came together without casting too much suspicion on Classia. It was nice and ruby centric in the end. What do you mean folds my arms? Anything strike you a bit off about this mishmash? Well, the bullet didn't have to come from the roof. No one mentioned hearing the shot. The footprints didn't match with the odd soul's prints. Yeah, but they said it. They said they were the same size, though. She could have been wearing different boots, just in the same size. No one mentioned hearing the shot. Notice how this hasn't come up at all. Even Hardy and his boys didn't mention it. Mm -hmm. Neither did you. It could have come from the coast. Absolutely. It could have come from anywhere. But you're suddenly so certain it came from the roof behind the window. The footprints in the pinball workshop didn't match odd souls, at least. No, they didn't. I'm done thinking about this. That's right. Finish thought. Man, Just shut up. Just finish it and conveniently go on. She's watching you leave right now. You know that. Free as a bird on that roof. <laughs> Lighting up a cigarette and thinking, Am I glad Ruby's in this shit and not me? Man, shut up, Volition. Don't listen You're to compromised. This guy. The theory was solid. He's, He's just, just jealous. jealous. <laughs> Move on. It's no use harassing her further. Dude, Volition is compromised as fuck, actually. If nobody heard the gunshot, not even the Hardy Boys, then why would he think that 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 fucking Clage was the one who pulled the trigger? He's so compromised. He's just really mad. Kuno's little shit show. Um, we're looking for a dumpster. 
Is this a dumpster? Hang on. This trash container is locked. The sl There's something in there. Not necessarily connected to the case, but still. Why am I looking at you, trash container? You're just a trash container. Well, it is a container. Maybe you're prioritizing it. Lieutenant, what do you think could be in there? Trash, food waste from the cafeteria. They lock these containers to keep the derelicts from flocking in. Could be evidence, too. Mm, I feel like there's something in there. What do you mean, feel? It's like an extrasensory perception. I agree. We should get someone from the remote viewers division here. Hey, there's no need for sarcasm. I just feel strongly about it. Oh, it might also be evidence. The mob could have disposed of something in there. Finally, Kim! Finally, Kim! How do we get it open? We could try using a pry bar. The one you took from my motor carriage, or... No, or... It's pry bar time. We might want to ask for a key from the Bet. manager of the whirling in red. I still, I'm pretty sure I don't have any more physical instrument. Hands-eye coordination might be good. All right, let's give it a shot. This trash container is locked. Ooh. The sliding lid has a padlock that says whirling in rags. Mm, we can try. Force time yeah. isn't happening. What is this? Your triceps ache for the metal <laughs> to bend, but it resists. This calls for a potent curse to help break its resistance. Utter the power words. The fuck kind of metal is this? This is fucking shit! The quality of metal is not the problem. From what I see, it's sturdy enough. He's enjoying your little failure. He finds it amusing. He's reveling in sweaty rage on your face. Ow! Unsatisfying. Hurtful. You hear a ringing sound, but not quite hollow. The can seems to be full. Full of itself. Content. Uh... Happily felled. This snickering trash container is having a grand old time. I'm the anti-object task force! There's a creaking sound uh... as the pry bar slips under the lid. You hang from it like a moron. Huffing and puffing. Clearly the technique is wrong, but nothing else comes to mind. That's it. Let's I can't ask write the open. manager for the key. This okay. is clearly not working. Yeah, okay, okay, whatever. It's fine. Seventeen percent. Please heal. <laughs> I don't have newly bug arms. Wait, who are you? Oh, I don't know. Hey. Can I help you? Is the trash container a back yours? Mine? No, it belongs to the whirling in rags. Thank you for clearing that up. Why? To keep the hobos and drunks out. That's why. I thought as much. I just well, want to keep. Yes. It seems a little callous. Doesn't it? Something stirs in you. I wonder what the... Oh, what is this feeling? Prod at him and find out. Doesn't it seem callous to you? Guarding even your leftovers from the poor? Callous? What are you, Kras Mazov? Almost all establishments in Revishol keep their trash locked. The whirling in rags is not special in that regard. Maybe I am Krasmazov. What are we talking about? Was this not about the trash container? <laughs> no. Wait. <laughs> wait. Wait, 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 wait. Kim. What if I am Krasmazov? We should return to the case of your mistaken identity at a later time, officer. This was about the trash container. <laughs> okay. We need those keys. What for, Mazov? Are you planning to nationalize my trash container? Yes. It concerns the keys. Please cooperate. Just bring them God, back once you, you're Kim. done, please. God, thank you, Kim. Thank you, Kim. I don't know what I would do without this guy. Holy shit.
God, yeah, at least he listens to Kim. Jesus. <laughs> This trash container, with a well-oiled crack, the lock pops open. Don't. Maybe you shouldn't. What? No, maybe I should. Maybe you shouldn't. Of course you should. This is your time to shine, hobo cop. Mm -hmm. Dive into that dumpster for extra content. Yo, wait. Hobo cop is content pilled. Didn't I just have a premonition that there's something in here? There is. But you won't like it. Well, Sweat I... forms on your brow. I... Your hand is still on the lid. I need to know. I have to be brave. The smell of rotten food rises to greet you. You see soggy cartons, dirty rags, and organic waste. We're just in time. This hasn't been emptied for over a week. Dig in, hobo cop style. Wow. An armistice caliber 50 knock cannon. Half wrapped in paper tissues. So shiny. What's a, huh? What's a knock cannon? It's a giant rifle. And it's very expensive. What the fuck? Not as expensive as that fat string of pearls <laughs> snaking around the rotten banana uh... peels, however. And is that Cordon Electric's preamp with Electra F2 tubes? It is. That catches quite a price. We're talking 12,000. Easy. Unless you're into hi-fi yourself. Yeah, yeah, my... Uh, huh? What? No, you won't. Because none of those things are real. Oh. They're not actually in there. All you see is food waste and crisp wrappings. A cruel jest. There must be something. All you see is a broken mug with a racist depiction of the yellow man frolicking in saffron. An antique? Only in its social sensibility. We'll take it. Mm -hmm. We take those. We take those. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kim. I'm <laughs> you see, milk and egg rest with one broken egg in it. Some pasta wrapper. Picking up the soggy packages somehow feels familiar. A box falls into pieces in your hands. Batiste Sole cereal. There are plastic pasta packages below. And turbo noodles. Yo, Nothing of note, noodles. however. Among the threadbare kitchen towels, something catches your eye. A pair of denim trousers. Oh, finally, I was looking for more pants. As the legs of the slime-covered jeans begin to unspool from the garbage, a rank corpse smell fills the air. Oh. The victim's clothes? <laughs> Cadaverine odor is faint. If these belong to the deceased, they were removed when he was still in the early stages of decay. Drop them in here, officer. Guitar marked blue jeans. Pockets empty or emptied. He wore them with a belt, too, a white belt. The loops appear stretched, but the belt is missing. That's it. Do you see anything else in there? I have another bag here. Something slimy catches your eye. I reach for it. Go a in, Robocop. A drab, long-sleeved shirt, olive-colored, appears from the food waste, dripping with pus. Fuck, ew. <laughs> this is a military type of a garment. No label or serial number. This is the kind of rib knit shirt that's worn over light armor to conceal it in an urban scenario. Anything more? The rest of the rags are just kitchen variety waste. Just garbage. That's it. All right. We should go to Gart again and ask if he knows who put the clothes in the trash. It could be as simple as someone from the hostel cleaning the yard. Or that one. I'd advise against confronting that force. Kuno doesn't give a fuck. You think someone from Whirling Gigs might have been involved? Not really. All we know is the victim's clothes are in the trash. The lid was locked and his establishment had the key. It's just a small loose thread. Is it a small loose thread? They would have had to have keys to unlock the dumpster. Like, am I crazy? <laughs> We need to ask the kids who put them there. The fuck's he on about? Kids? You hear that, Kuno? He thinks you're an infant or something. See? Okay. The lieutenant nods. All right. Then one more look. One more. One container. more dive for good old Firewalker, the can opener, hobo cop. It's just organic waste, cold and slimy on your hands. G Apple and potato <laughs> pills mostly. Unidentified sludge 
and the occasional chicken bone thrown in for good measure. But hey, nothing. It's... What's this? What? Huh? A blue piece of plastic sticks out from the apple peels. It's shiny. Looks like the corner of something. Something larger. A clipboard. A blue plastic clipboard with moist papers hanging from it. They look Yay! badly damaged, but you can still make out forms and notes written in a man's handwriting. Have you ever been told you sound like VA? Like a VA or VA like a, a specific person? Because I don't I don't know what you mean. Officer, is that no, your paperwork? No, it can't be. Yes, it is. Look, this plastic has the RCM street grid on it. You've even got an autopsy form. If you don't mind my asking, Virginia? how could you have let your paperwork I end up in the trash? I sound like Virginia. Must have been cramping my style. Officer, this is an official piece of paperwork. It probably <laughs> contains notes on numerous ongoing investigations and could even list undercover operatives, informants. I suggest integrating it into your style for all our sakes. Mm, okay. Okay, Kim. It would also not hurt to start taking notes on the case. Now, tell me what your eagle eyes see. Or are we finished? Some items, such as the ledger you found, are interactable. Oh, Go thank to you, your tutorial inventory. agent. The container sounds a muffled gong. <sighs> That's one thing off the list. I think we got it all. All right, we got it, chat. We got the content. Huge, big, huge, even. <laughs> There's a, is that a banana peel? Wait, 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 wait. We haven't read this one from the fridge because we like ended stream or or like we forgot because we, it was from the fridge that we put the corpse in. The note is written with a blue pencil on a piece of lined office paper. The kitchen magnets have left spots on its surface. Does it say anything interesting? This is tangential at best, mm. but the lieutenant's detective instinct is still active. Mm. Someone has scribbled. S. I can't believe the off-site copy is still <laughs> here. The illiterate ginger kid keeps stealing stuff from the studio, so I had to hide it somewhere safe. Huh. You'll find the filament memory with the off-site copy in the frozen ice cream maker. Please take it home, ASAP. It's important. I'd do it myself if I lived in a civilized place with a freezer. Take the care. Silly swaf. Looks like someone from that radio game company upstairs. I'm a little surprised. Yeah, we put Lully in a freezer, yeah. Here. Maybe they just had to leave in a hurry? That's a plausible hypothesis. The filament memory is the things that Oh, fuck. This is like alternate universe tech that I don't understand. It belongs inside a radio computer, storing its memory. It's like a tape. You listen to disco tapes, right? It's like one of your disco tapes, only for a computer. Who's the illiterate ginger kid? Yeah, who, who could they possibly be? Really? You don't have a single guess? It's fucking Kuno! Oh, I'm sure that child would love to get his hands on the filament memory, even if he doesn't know what to do with it. It probably tried to pawn it for speed, based on our encounter. You have any idea where the frozen ice cream maker could be? I don't know. I assume it's somewhere close to the ice bear fridge. Didn't you see mm. one right next to the breaker box? Oh yeah, maybe we did. Huh. Alright. What the fuck is this? Oh, right, the flowers. D <laughs> <laughs> It's the ledger you found in the trash. A pitiful cabbage of white and yellow papers hanging from plastic board, barely held together by a metal clip. This sad display is made complete by the faint smell of urinal cleaner. Anything else? There's a piece of toilet paper, or is it cleaning tissue? No, it's toilet paper, desperately sticking to the back of the blue plastic clipboard. Hmm, gross. It's a metaphor for you oh. below the pathetics terror do not look into its blue heart 
Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's take it slow. Let's give it a little... Like a cat. Like a cat warming up to a stranger. We just gotta give it a little... First. The acidic stench of rotting food is rubbed off on the cellulose. It now forms the base of the experience. This base surrounded by a faint air of spoiled meat. The stuff of death itself. And then sprinkled liberally with the citrus zest of toilet cleaner. You know, like the bits they put into public piss bowls. Probably called Fermi Discreet. Or Axel. Or something. At some point in its journey, the ledger has seen the inside of a public toilet. Shut up! I don't need your help! I don't need anyone's help! Your nose does not understand what it did wrong. Mm. It's just toilet paper sticking to the back of the plastic clipboard. You can take it off if you want. I'm gonna take it off. Still wet, the toilet paper peels off the plastic easily. All you have to do is shake it off with your finger and... Voila. Voila! The ledger now looks marginally better. Hmm, what about the clip? An aluminium block runs the width of the board, biting down on the paperwork. Its crocodile teeth are the only thing keeping the papers together. A regular pencil, the tip worn down to nothing, has been attached to the clip. I stroke it. The surface is interrupted by a silvery sticker. It's rectangular, sparkling with iridescence. Looks like an official mark, made to be low visibility outside the right circumstances. Hey, Kim, 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 what's this? What? That thing. It's a halogen watermark. We use it for adding information to RCM property. What kind of information? It depends. Aside from an anti-counterfeiting stamp, mine has my station number and address. The information varies by date of issue. Maybe yours will have how many cases you've solved. How many years you've been on the force, he's thinking. It'll have that. How can I read it? Any capable light with the right wavelength will do. Like a All our CM vehicles light? have had lights designed to reveal halogen watermarks. Oh, Mine too. cool. This means you can read the watermarks if you just turn the lights on. Okay. While a bunch of sodden papers sag from the clipboard in your hand, it's a sorry sight. They're not exactly white. They're yellowed in patches by sunlight and alcohol and covered in dense blue handwriting. Ink escapes into watercolor patterns, Beautiful. reaching its tendrils across entire pages. Once in a while, there's a red stamp that exclaims, case files commit to paper. The case files themselves are plenty. What's Work, in there? strife, poverty, the Jamrock Quarter. These are handwritten logs of investigations dating back to January 51 this year. The exact number is hard to estimate due to missing pages and an odd naming convention. But there are at least 20, maybe 30 cases undertaken, You've taken, not, not completed. completed. It's the middle of March. You have attempted two cases a week on average. Cam! Is two cases a week a good caseload? Huh? Two complex cases to undertake is a lot, yes. You really have to push yourself. I would not suggest it, lest you start making mistakes. That appears to have been my caseload, Kim. Two? That's a lot. I didn't mean to say you are making mistakes, by the way. That was presumptuous. <laughs> yeah, it burns out all right. That's okay. We all do, sooner or later. Like a yeah. fan of girls, the checkered papers huh. dry in your hand. The handwriting is extremely dense, if mostly illegible. There's a naming convention here. Yes, it appears you employ a, shall we say, robust yet literary system. Each investigation has its case number written on the margins. Yet, still more tellingly, most are accompanied by a name. Yes, all caps. One is called the Next World Mural. Another, the Aww. square bullet hole murders. Another yet, the unsolvable case. He like, he like personalizes his cases and gave them names and shit. Others appear more lighthearted. The guys on a couch in an unexpected <laughs> location and the murder at the Uka parlor. Even the rare article free collapsing tenement. Murder features prominently throughout. Aww. You like this grimy murdering, don't you? Come on, man.
It's going to Every take an effort to piece <laughs> these case files together, but it can be done. Once you're done inspecting them up close. Everybody goes into law or justice because of murder. <laughs> My cases appear to employ some kind of naming convention. You mean the alphanumeric? Officer, precinct, time of arrival at the scene? Yeah, that's the one. No, I mean non-numeric ones. Oh, you mean the titular? Yes, well, so do I. In our defense, almost everyone in the RCM does. Oh, okay, it's not that quirky. Why is that? It's a holdover from the early days of the RCM, right after the revolution, <laughs> when the organization had little idea how to do things. It persists in an unofficial capacity. I have a name Officers called the Square used Bullet Hole Murders. In your defense, I seem to have named one the man with the hole in his head. That was a real person. His death was real. Still, I named it that to amuse myself. I pray his loved ones never find out. What happened to him? Rail spiked through the head. He died. It was a workplace accident. Bummer. I have to open an official case. Is there room? There is, for precisely one more. Fifteen pages near the end remain untouched by the damage. The checkered grid forms a structure of passages, breaking the case into subtasks to accomplish. Hmm. Once all the tasks are accomplished, the case is complete. The tasks you've completed flow out of the pen in a brash freehand similar to the rest of the letters. The wording comes easily. It's almost robotically simple, a language developed for mental rigor and simplicity. Inspect the victim's body, get the body down, interview the cafeteria manager. A satisfying slash sounds across mm. the paper. You're done, it seems to say. And, and you, you, and, and you. you. Things to be done, and things already done. The composition of reality. This is an extremely useful tool for a detective of the citizens' militia. Now all that remains is to name the case. Kim! Kim! Have you named our case yet? No, actually. Any ideas? The Furies are at home in the mirror. Shit on a stick! <laughs> the setting sun. Hey, Kim, I have a fucking fire one. Furies. Yes, well, I don't know. I have to be honest, I'm not experiencing the internal strife that it refers to. And also, could you make it less poetic somehow? Mm. Just a normal case name, you know? Think. The setting what would that sun. Be? Uh, okay, okay. It's a good name, but it has one mm. problem. This case has nothing to do with the setting sun. At all. It has nothing to do with that. So, something more concrete, perhaps? Do you have something concrete? Mundane. Usual. Usual is boring. We don't do that. Shit on a stick. Ah, yes. I have to tell you, officer, I don't appreciate <laughs> ironic titles. Other officers will have to use this as reference. If it's idiot or cockfinger, they're not going to get it. They're going to think an idiot and a cockfinger were on this case. Kim, so, what the fuck you are you talking about? Funny. Fun is outlawed with this guy. What a knock. Shush, horrific necktie. Very well, Kim. You name it. Oh, well, then maybe I can suggest one. Yeah, let me guess. The hanged man? Oh, that's actually what I was man. thinking. The hanged man. <laughs> wait, like guys. That. Wait, good guys. Good name. We have a very good name for the case now. Guys, I just got an achievement for the goodest cop. Get Kim to really trust you. <sighs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! I'm going to start calling it the hanged man. It's good to be sorted. I'm it? in, boys! I'm in! <laughs> I'm done inspecting these. You don't exactly close them. So much as distance yourself from the smelly papers. They're a little further from your nose now. <sighs> can I read the case files now? Yes, you can piece them together using the alphanumeric code on the margin. It always begins with HDB41. Then, date of initialization and How time long would it take to read? I, don't, I have a stream to, to do, man. 
using the system you've devised. Where do you want to start? Ah, oh, fuck. Well, let's read one of these. They're lengthy. Well, we can read one of these and find out how... Oh, they're better to pass time later on. Okay. Not much has changed in the meanwhile. A bunch of sodden paper. I'm in look the, at the back, yellow ones. you see thin, translucent copy of paper. Then rip them from the binder and hand them out. According to type of form. What types of forms? Three. The topmost are misconduct fines. The middle ones are station calls. And the bottommost are field autopsy forms. Each is easy enough to make sense of. I don't care. The rest of the stinking cellulose is- Bye-bye. Okay. I guess we'll find out more about, like, the cases we used to work on when we need to pass time in one of the later days. I imagine that'll happen here or there. Look, should I- do I need to look at the clipboard? I kind of just assumed it would be like- Oh, this is this is garbage. It's it's it looks just like you. It reminds you of yourself. It it's um, it's the legend stinky. you found. It's made of dark blue plastic, hard enough to beat someone to submission with. The edges are rounded, however. The U4 size board feels thick and heavy in your hand. Light shimmers on its wet surface. On the back, you see the embossed letters. What RCM color is it? Blue. Nice. The blue heart. Don't look into it. I shake it. Something rattles inside, ever so lightly. <gasps> Is there a hidden compartment? <gasps> and something small inside. It's Light, my badge! Permeables. It's not hidden per se. The compartment is made for permeable materials that would get damaged if something happened to it. I peek it. The plastic shimmers like lapis lazuli. There's pain in there. If you want some. That much you know. How, With your hands, how open. you four sized pages hang from the clip, screwed to the top of the board. Interfacing two? <laughs> we have clothes for that? Okay. I, I think that was all the clothes we had for that. It's the ledger you found in the trash. A cabbage of papers Even? hanging. Mm. Yay! <laughs> the two sides of the board appear slightly misaligned, like a drawer that's come off its slides. If you bend the plastic on your knee, slowly, slowly, the slides snap back into place. It should be possible to just, you know. I want to know. Without resistance or sound, the two panels move against each other. The what? compartment is now open. What is it? Two ticket stubs and a handmade postcard. Two octopuses are smiling, reaching their tentacles toward each other in the colored pencil drawings. The tickets permit access to the zoo in Revachol East. The aquarium costs extra. These let you go there, too. Thin wax paper has been glued to a piece of cardboard. Sounds like leaves rustling when you pick it up. You see violet flowers, floral patterns, patches of glue. <laughs> Give it a little... It smells of chewing gum, apricot flavored, a touch of cinnamon, the end of summer. You think the label says tutti frutti. Oh, I hate tutti frutti flavor. Familiar handwriting lines the inside of the card, looped round mm. letters in a woman's hand. Mm. A young woman in her twenties. Oh shit, it's me. There is care, effort, and a smile, you think. Although that is not something you can read from someone's handwriting. Harry, it begins. You're already reading. I wanted to write you a letter, 
so you can read it when you wake up. Maybe it will make you happy. Throw it away, please. It'll make me happy. A merciful wind blows in from the Bay of Rivershaw, dusting the ground at your feet and raising newspapers far away. You feel the card slipping into it. Hold on to it. We... <laughs> we have to read it. Your hands shake holding on to it. Every morning when I step out and you're asleep behind me, it says... I find a little piece of sadness in me. I carry it in my chest, down Voyager Road. Every step I take, it grows. By the time I reach the fuel station, it has filled me entirely. I step onto the light rail and look back. Sparks fall from the bow collector. I know it will be like this until late afternoon, when I get off the 42 and walk back to you. You, you. Every step I take will get lighter. It almost makes me run. Sometimes I do. I can't believe I met you. I can't believe the happiness I feel with you. You have a vast, vast soul. And I will always, always, always come back to it. Kisses, kisses, kisses. You feel the air sucked out of your lungs and the blood sucked out of your head. Everything around you gets dark. Small white dots appear. You feel the ledger slip from your hand. No, no, hold on. Oh my god. To what? There's nothing. Detective, is everything all right? Kim, I'm gonna, uh, Kim, I'm gonna pass out. Oh my god. Nothing. Again. Nothing? Nothing, sad brother. No treachery, just blackout. Mm. Well, almost nothing. There is the ground below you, that's still there. And the small light that's on, fluttering somewhere in the basal ganglia. Who's that? That's me. Blue eyes, that's me. And who is that? Who is what? He speaks of the sickening longing. The unwell emotion. Even in the darkness he's grasping for it. Still trying to hold on to the great sorrow slipping in the water. Slimy. No, 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 no I'm, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm cool, actually. The call when you're dead, brava. Here in the paleomammalian cortex, we call it the shadow. Because it's always there. Tell him. Tell him. Ah, yes. In the old factory system, they call it the apricot chewing gum scented one. It's unhealthy of them to linger on it so. But as they say, what do you do? It smelled nice. It didn't smell nice. It smelled like betrayal. Was that the X something? Bloated corpse of the past resurfacing. Yeah, that. Don't prod it. It, it will start moving again. Where is Voyager Road? There is no Voyager Road. There are no roads, no houses, no lights in the windows. It's all on. Pause. So my name is Harry? Your name is Fuck All. Oh. It certainly ain't Harry. The, the what is it? Your name is passed out on the ground, dragged around by one of the other evil apes. They're taking you somewhere. 
enough. Gah. You think they would let you? Until you disintegrate into biomolecules. No. Someone is breathing on your face now, inspecting your pupils, stupid idiot. Mm, I'm not coming back. Stop. Oh, but you are. They're pouring something on you. Something in you. It's... It's delicious. Glowing lights on a dashboard emerge out of nothingness. Huh? Where am I? The upholstered cabin of Lieutenant Kitsuragi's motor carriage, seated in the driver's basket. The Drink. Water. I don't want to. There is no use arguing with me. You will die if you don't. Drink. There really is no use arguing with him. This is him exerting the reserves of authority he usually withholds. You can't even try to resist. All you can do is... The water is cold, silvery, the stuff of life itself as it pours down your parched throat. The pounding in your head recedes, the darkness parts. Drink. You haven't drunk water in two days. Did you know the human body is not made to survive on alcohol alone? You need a secondary form of hydration. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. With greedy gulps, you down half a liter of cold water. Some of oh, it shit. spills on we the driver's seat. The, day. the lieutenant pays no heed to it. What happened? I came in contact with the burnt out ruins of the past, Kim. That does sometimes happen. You dropped these. Are you okay to proceed? Yeah. Good. The Ledger of Failure and Hatred is a special item that can be used both as an interactable and a tool equipped in your held slot for skill bonuses. What? Find it under the Tools tab in your inventory. The Ledger of <laughs> Failure and Hatred. This game's gonna kill me, I think. God damn it! It's fucking 11 minutes past midnight. Right, we have to use the holograms. Yeah. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull-out tool. All right, ready? I turn, you press start. He's downplaying his excitement. The lieutenant is more than happy to show off his precious carriage. The dashboard lights up with orange glow. The rounds per minute gauge jumps, and the engine of the Caprice Canada comes to life with a what like a leopard waking from its sleep, yawning and roaring at the same time. The lights unfold with a little click. There you go. I'll turn them off from the remote once you're done. As you hold your ledger's clip under the headlamp. There she is. Revachol West. Around the borders of the watermark are dozens, no, hundreds of micro perforations. There are many of them, and they are divided into three separate rows. The first row has 18 dots. What? Why do I care? The next <laughs> is the longest. It runs all. There are so many, it's hard to count. More than 150. Yo, I be counting. At least, maybe Dude, this even looks great, 200. by the way. Looks very painted. The last row has three perforations. Three? That's it. Hey, Kim, what do these holes mean? Those are perforations. They represent your record as an officer My of the My stats? RCM. My are stats? Your as it were. Oh, shit. I should have guessed you'd keep a record. Officers often do. Let's take a look. Son. Here is where we score your life performance. You better hope it's good. The first row represents your years of service. 18 years. Okay, not bad at all. What did you do before you volunteered? 
probably got drunk like a freaking megastar. I feel like I just went around apologizing all the time. <laughs> yes, that does seem quite likely. Your youth coincided with some heady days for Revachol. But let's move on, shall we? This next role, the one that wraps all the way around, is your number of closed <clears throat> cases. Closed is good. Wow, more than 200. Is that a lot? It's quite a lot, <clears throat> even for someone who's been on the force for nearly two decades. Usually, clearing more than 10 cases a year puts you in the 90th percentile of all RCM officers. So you're saying I used to be a super cop? Call it what you want. You were a valuable member of your precinct. Now, let's look at the last row. Now look at me, washed up and shit. Right. Those are your confirmed kills. You've got precisely three perforations there. That's, that's not, that's not too many. For an RCM officer, especially Precinct 41, which is in the Jamrock Quarter, it's rather tame. I mean that in a good way. There are certain officers who treat their kills like some kind of ghoulish game. If they do happen to solve a case, it's usually by accident. But it seems as though you are, or at least were, one of the good ones. So we have that to be thankful for. How do you handle the strain, Kim? Everyone has their own method of coping. Some more effective or self-destructive than others. Mm. Personally, I find it helps to keep up a few hobbies. <laughs> That's what I always say. <laughs> Maybe I should find a hobby. Yeah, like what? Like what All kind of this hobbies? and that. Let's not get into it now. I should find one. Why not garden? What are your hobbies? You've already got the gloves. It's meant in earnest. Please don't mistake it for a jab. Oh, We already know that Kim has killed people, but maybe, maybe he'll say more. Yes. It's not a problem for him to state it, however. Okay, he won't say more. The lieutenant nods. The rectangular watermark is overlaid with the logo of the RCM, and yet the major arteries of Revachol are all recognizable. They shimmer in the Kanema's headlights. Wait, I can figure this out. A rat brazenly darts past you and disappears amongst the stop lorries. In the distance, Just a child somewhere shrieks. A woman reprimands her in a voice no quieter than the child's cry. Ah, Martinez. Where are we on this? Let me see. Right here. Seems like, uh, I'm sure I've seen worse. Oh, yes. Coal City. Le Royaume. The burnt out quarter. Hmm. Right. I'll go turn off the lights. You can now see your statistics on your journal page. As you turn, a bright light catches your eye, making you squint. <laughs> cool. So cool. Where's it come from? From a distant sunset, a stage light, flash photography, nowhere in particular. It's just what superstar law officers do. They squint at lights and they solve shit. Yeah, that's me. I've been establishing my superstardom hard lately. Yeah, you have. You're a big dick cop. Mm -hmm. Dick man. Salam Rocky Bayi. Mm -hmm. Badass on the edge disco cop. Time to recede into a ludicrous fantasy world. Oh yeah. Here we go. Camera. Live camera. Lights. Action. With a sudden flash, the world freezes around you. And you along with it. In an iconic monochrome solution, a black silhouette against a rasterized orange world. It's on. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Time for me to... Hang on. I... <laughs> Hang on, I... Can I... Ah. It's the ledger you found in the trash. A cabbage of papers hanging from the board with the permeables draw inside. It's barely held together. Without resistance or sound, the two panels move against each other. The compartment is now open. The words just crossed your mind somehow. Blink. You see two ticket stubs and a handmade car. Ah. It's slightly, ever so slightly, difficult to breathe once you've done so. The drawer is locked, 
Blue ink drips from the white pages in your hand. Hmm. <sighs> Thoughts, Kim? Thoughts? Boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right. Well, we can't... We can't ditch, um... We're not gonna ditch Kim yet. No! The death smell! Fuck! No, we can't... We can't abandon him. It, it's like... It's, it, it's the next day now. Fuck! Shit! Son of a bitch! But I want to have it when we go next door, when we when we cross the bridge. Kuno, it's not the next day yet, I think. Oh, it says day two. Oh, huh. Fuck does Kuno care? Oh, it freezes when it gets late enough. I have questions about the crime scene. Yeah, the kingdom of Kuno. The fuck do you want with it? Dead man's clothes were put in the trash container. How did they get there? Yeah, Kuno doesn't know shit about that. That shit is beneath Kuno. Uh, it could be a lead. I don't... Listen, listen. Kuno doesn't care <sighs> about this small time shit. Just listen. Kuno saw what you did there, dumpster diving. Sad shit. <laughs> Kuno could hook you up with some sweet rags. Shit like Kuno's wearing. Your size, good price. 500 real. You'd have to be blind not to notice the giant white letters. F-A-L-N, running down his trouser leg. All right, what's so good about those pants, Kuno? Wait, no, shit. What happened to his clothes? Look, Kuno ain't seen shit lying around. Except for that f you took away. Now you won't be here or not, Grandpa. The lieutenant remains silent, but his expression couldn't say, I told you so, any louder. All right, I'm out of here, Kuno. Kuno was trying to help you. But you're too fat for fun anyway, pig. <laughs> I'm not gonna show Kuno the racist yeah, bug. Whatever. I'm out of here. Kuno I'm gone. Doesn't... I don't give a shit. I don't. I... <laughs> I... <laughs> All right, let's talk to Garth then. Kuno doesn't give a shit. But did I check the racist mug? I actually didn't. I guess I didn't realize I could interact with it. Well, yeah, I did. I guess I realized I could interact with it, but I didn't want to, like, accidentally show it to, like, It's just him. a racist mug. What's there to read here? All right, let's... Not much. <laughs> There's quite a lot to read into here, actually. Look at all that content. Mm. Oh, boy. Here we go. What are you going to Yum, say about content. the broken, tossed away mug that you dug out of the garbage? I'm going to push this into the face of every merchant I find and tell them, this, this is your inane ideology. So again, you dug it out of the trash. Why? It wasn't going to offend anyone um... there. Why don't you just get back to your case? Oh, oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. You could give it to Measurehead, he would love it? <laughs> Can I help you? Here's your key. Thanks. I hope you found what you were looking for. I found the victim's clothes. How strange. I certainly didn't put them there. Maybe you don't remember putting them there. Maybe you were sleepwalking or in a fugue state. I think fugue states are more your forte, officer. Shit. Could someone on your staff have put them there? Sylvie had the keys before I got here, and I can vouch for her. I can vouch for all my staff. None of us would tamper with the crime scene. Who else has the keys? The trash collection service, CS Municipal. I don't see why they would put anything in the trash, though. Ah, the elusive CS Municipal. I doubt we'll be able to track down who was sent here last and when. This will have to be one of those little threats that solves itself down the road. Thank you, anyway. One of those
those little threads that we'll solve down the road. Yes. I'm picking up what you're putting down, Kim. I hear you, bud. Uh, let's see. Can I send him off from here? Yes. Ugh. All right. I guess we have to go to the freezer in order to send him off. Why would I want to fix this mod? Um, I guess I don't, really. The bear's eyes are still glowing red. It's guarding over the freezing corpse hidden inside its belly. Yeah, there's no getting boots. It's time to send him off, I think. There's no getting the... We can't get the boots, chat. We can't get rid of Kim. Uh, but I also don't... Stop, stop, chat. I know the boots are valuable, but... Bye, Kim. All right. There go those beautiful enamel boots. May they rest in processing. Maybe if I do another playthrough of this, I'll try to get the boots. I will need a little help carrying him. You take the hands, I'll take the legs. Thigh high boots though? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, we would have looked real cute. <sighs> I'm all alone. Just me and my fucking demons, huh? All right, time to get up to no good. <laughs> yeah. Actually, is there any more alcohol to lick off the counters? Would love that. No? Okay. Oh my god, what if I did read the note alone? No, somebody else would have had to save me. Yeah. I'm glad Kim was there, chat. Wait, shit. Wait, stop. That man, bloated beyond all recognition, was 42? Yeah, that's what, that's what she said. Below the damage, the weeks of decomposition, all the swollen indignity of mm. mortality. No, 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 no. I know what you're thinking. Hey, where's this going? How old are you? That's where this is going. 45,000 liters of raw alcohol has left its disfigurements. What lies beneath, you wonder? I got this. My age is up. Yes. Probably middle-aged? Do you want to know the truth? I'm not afraid of the truth. Ooh. To the laboratorium. The laboratorium? The laboratorium? Date of birth generator. Wait, shit. Some of these are really good. Your face looks like it's 58. Your body feels like it's 60. Your mind feels like it's lived for one day or 100, both longer than they ought to. Time to start racking those brain of yours. Elder one, when and where were you born? White morning. Minus one authority. Little guy gets further and further away. Even at this distance, you can see your eyelids flutter at the mention of what? A great white object letting out its sweet smell. Like a lily of the valley. The little man's forgotten its name, but he still remembers the feeling. And look, he moves. The feeling animates him. He instinctively reaches out for that feeling's best friend. A bottle of Commodore Red. He puts on his disco clothes and gets smaller and smaller. Ugh. <laughs> First, let's make this abundantly clear. No one is saying you're an actual superstar. You're a metaphorical superstar. You bring the rock and roll authenticity and passion to a line of work where people don't expect to see it. Or some would say it doesn't belong, law enforcement. 
Hmm. Well, we need to internalize one of these. I kind of want to internalize White Morning. Um. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> little guy gets further and further away. <laughs> I think I want to internalize White Morning. Um, but I need to unlock a new skill slot. Mm -hmm. Just a little tiny man, just a little disco man. Would have two extra points even if all three were internalized. Oh yeah. I guess we can internalize more than one. We'll also internalize this. I, I, by the way, I don't know if there's a specific order I should be doing these. I'm kind of just... Winging it? <laughs> no order? Okay, good. We need to know the age. Uh, no, we don't. We don't need to know the age. We don't. We don't need to know how old we are. She's gone. We were gonna talk to her. Hmm. Where is she? I guess we just can't. That was the whole reason. Oh, she goes to bed at eleven. Well, then I'm gonna fucking bust into her bedroom. Well, she's not in there. Whatever. <sighs> the note fucked you, Lamau. Yeah, it really did. I really, really wasn't expecting that to happen. But, oh well. What else? Oh well. I guess, um... We still haven't done this. But I- oh man. No, we wait. Yeah, I know we're, we're gonna bathe for sure. We're so stinky. We're covered in garbage. We're covered in, like, corpse fluid. We're covered in- did I pay my tab? Did I pay my tab? Oh god, did I pay my tab? Yes? Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, what? I got like a... Hmm. Nothing on the front page rings a bell. I haven't tried this door. Is that Kim's room or something? Whatever. Wait, you can't open the door if you haven't. Oh, okay, okay. This is not the cleanest bathtub in the world. Ah, that soap scum smell. It smells like life, at least compared to you. Yeah, let's run it. The bathtub slowly fills with water. The water beckons. Ooh, chat, close your eyes. The water is only lukewarm, but still comforting, like amniotic fluid. A few beer cans are bobbing <laughs> up and down along your flanks, like sad duckies. <laughs> You feel nice and lonely, and so, so tired. Yo, what's up, Joel? Man, we have, to, we have to take them out. We have to, like, we decided that we were going to fix ourselves. We, so, so we have to start by taking the empty beer cans out of the tub. Even though they're cute, even though they make us less lonely, we need to take them out. Now you are alone with your thoughts in the tub. But it's easier than being alone with your thoughts outside the tub. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All right, go on. Go on, Harry. Imagine something. You see the corpse. You can still smell the cadaver on you. It's going to take more than one bath to get rid of that stench. Then, houses along a narrow street. A video rental. Darkness on the planet's curvature. Hmm. Your fingers grow pale and are covered with tiny whirls as the water cools. What are you doing? You're not some fat fish in a fucking aquarium. Time <laughs> Yo, to get Yo, chill! Moving. Chill, man. 
Okay. The waterline recedes as you stand. You are cold now. Your clothes stick to your still moist skin. I want to be a fat fishy in an aquarium. I don't want thoughts or free will. I want to be fed little, little cornflakes out of a little bag. Hmm. Well, I think it's time to go to bed. Maybe, maybe we can find Clagier in the morning before, before meeting up with Kim. There's just a chance. There's just a chance that that's possible. All right. The bed is still cold from the broken window and not too inviting. Use the mirror? Oh, are we going to try to stop the expression again? I don't think we can. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. It's barely uh, covered in steam anymore. No more steam. It's your face in the mirror, adorned with the expression. Hmm. Hmm. I... We're not going to bother with it. It's, it's fine. Our expression is fine. The bed is still cold Cute from the even. broken window and not too inviting. Hit chat without but expression. It's yours. You've earned it. The bed is still cold from the wind blowing in from the broken window. The mattress creaks as you close your eyes and try your hardest Face the to champ. fall asleep. You, the Riz. It's an expression of pain. <laughs> Whatever, man. Here we are again, my broken bird. Ah. Waves are coming, carrying you away. But you can't go. No, you have to stay always half aware of yourself. I don't want to. I want to go to bed. You're not cooperating, brother man. Why? It's your disgusting body. Even through your sleep, you feel a vague discomfort suffusing it. Your belly and your sides are unpleasantly tender. You wish you could curl up into a fetal ball of safety. But you cannot. Because, because of, of the pain. pain. And there's a lot of it. Ever present in your organs. Every cell in your body is moaning in agony. Asking, what did we ever do to you? It's the system's fault. <laughs> this body is worthless anyway. No one does anything else to it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, a, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, you're finally thinking about something other than yourself. Let's see how far that'll get you. I am an artist, and liver damage is my art. Oh yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. Frame your suffering as a masterpiece. Only one problem. No one's watching. It's oh. boring, buddy. Boring as death. You're just stuck here. In the half world, could try looking at other people, really looking. But why would you want to start doing that? I'm looking at people all the time. I like them. Sure you do. They're all so friendly, aren't they? Some of them are. Some of them are nice. Others are scared. At least they're interesting. Each one has a process just like yours, running in the space between their ears, full of secrets. People are beautiful, statuesque, parodies and tragedies of themselves, a great democracy of creatures. 
What do you think you're doing right now? Coming to some greater awareness? Look at all these lights, blinking in and out of existence. Thoughts! You're just pretending that you're asleep, even to yourself, while the world goes on without you. Let it. Let it. But it never seems to let you go, does it? Time to rise and wipe that shining sweat off as best you can. Gather your bearings. Rock and roll. Rock and roll, baby. Healed morale. <laughs> oh, maybe that just happens when you sleep. Rock and roll, baby. Rock and roll. Good morning, Revachal. Okay, looks like we do actually have an opportunity to talk to Claudia. Maybe. Maybe. Yes, Claudia. Hi. Hi. Hey, girl. My who's my favorite fugitive? Hello, officer. What brings you up here again? Why do I feel like you've won? No, 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 no. Compromise, compromise. Now that Kim isn't here, let's talk about Sunday night. Ah, uh, yes. The night before I saw you in the hallway, and reminded you you're a police officer. It's one of the first things I remember doing in Elysium. <laughs> wow. Elysium. You don't hear that term often. She's a glib girl, but she liked the wording. Did you hear something Sunday night from my room? There was the usual ruckus. Loud disco music. Did I have any visitors? I can't say. <clears throat> Probably not. Sounded like you were flying solo. You mentioned loud disco music. Oh, yes. Various artists. Ostentatious orchestrations prime among them. Ostentatious orchestrations. Okay, okay. Uh oh, we're huge where I come from. I was very young then, of course. Like, seven. Life gets hard, but we go on. Mostly just gets hard, doesn't it? <laughs> just like... <laughs> it would appear so. At around two o'clock, the disco stopped and there was a change of pace. What happened? A slow, sad song started playing. Like organ music on repeat. That went on for quite a while. Some of that time you were yelling along to it. Was I singing this? Show her the empty case of the smallest church in St. Sains. Yes, there was a church in there. A really small church. Like when did I get smallest, that? Like the smallest, saddest church in the whole world. It was about that. And also... What else? That it doesn't matter anymore and that we're alone now. It was difficult to tell. The song itself was very quiet and soft, but... You sounded like a wounded boar, sir. It was hard to understand what you were singing on top of it. Do you mean that in, like, a cool way? Yes, it was very cool. I know, I, I know if nobody got me, Clagier's got me. Then what happened? Then you started screaming and trashed the place. That's so me. What did I do? A window was smashed. The tape player, probably. The song stopped. And furniture, too. A real destructathon. There was screaming. Then I think you passed out. Is there anything else? Please tell me there wasn't anything else. There was. I think you screamed that you didn't want to be this type of animal anymore. I may have misheard, but it was sort of memorable. <laughs> I went out afterwards. Everything was quiet by then. Around four or five. And that was it. Uh, thank you. No problem, sir. Why 
Why do I feel like you've won here? I really don't know, sir. I certainly don't feel like I've won. I feel like shit, sir. All the time. She smiles. A bitter little smile. She means it. Hmm. You're right. How well could it have turned out for me? I mean... The wet wind, heavy with brine and industrial pollution from the stacks nearby, ruffles her hair. I'm stuck in Martinez just like all of us. I've been up here for... Why was that a shivers I don't know how trigger. long now. Huh? I like to call this my rooftop containment facility. What are you contained for, then? For my sins, of course. For destroying my first love. For working for bad people. The list goes on and on. Something feels off about this theory I've developed about Ruby. I don't know what to say. Uh, no, 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 that's not my take. Hey, wait a minute. That's not my take. I'm sorry, I'm just too smart for the game. It all seems fortuitous for you. None of this is fortuitous for me. The dried flowers on the roof, could Ruby have left them? The what? Oh, those ones. I don't know, sir. I said I have no idea what to make of them. Honestly, I think they're just trash. What? Oh. I mean, there's no reason for me to think they're somehow connected to her. Uh, that's it then, I guess. She nods, slowly, carefully even. There is suddenly a strange glint in her eyes. Not malicious, but dangerous. Weird. Why? How could I engage with that? She looks at chipped white. Pretty. Looks like a dried maybe. All right. Huh. Huh. Hmm. All right. I want to talk to my boy. Where is my boy? I need my boy. Where is he? I'm lost without him. Help. 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 <laughs> Help! I'm hoping on the other side of the bridge, we'll be able to find some sort of record shop or something. Oh, we need to call Alice too. All right. Kim! 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 Where's Kim? Where's Kim? Where's Kim? Where's Kim? Kim? Kim! Yay! <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Have a good one, Gwen. Oh. Are you guys usually around here? Huh, whatever. A rusting control panel. He grabs the handle and pulls the lever. The water lock starts moving. Yay! Yay! A whole new area! I'm excited! Alright, we can go to the coast now. Expect rugged terrain and drunks. Drunks? Where? <laughs> looks around, looks over my shoulder. Huh? Somebody said I ran past something. Maybe I, I probably should have looked and seen if there were any like changes. Oh, right, 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 the serial number. <clears throat> Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull out toolbox, and the soft glow of the fuel preheated gauge. Huh. As you tap on the gauge, the indicator pin jerks as if startled. It's in the large orange sector. Now, now, that's enough fun with the foldable headlights. I know they are mesmerizing. They are also fragile. 
I'm not going to turn it on for you again. Okay? This is Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Uh, we were... Yes, I... The lieutenant leans in to listen. Notebook I was in born hand. ready, baby. That suit of armor was issued to an Orani citizen named Elis Cortenaer. That's E-L-L-I-S K-O-R T-E-N-A-E-R. Elise? Exactly to the unknown. Oh, he right. He was signed well, into the Lely County Neonatal Care Unit on 28th of February, 09. I had like a stupid thought where I forgot that he was named after of like where he was from and thought his name could have been like an anagram. He was found as a newborn in a leaf compactor near an abandoned farm. He spent four months in the neonatal unit, survived apparently, and was assigned to a foster family at two. Huh. This is what the ICD knows about him. He was raised by foster parents, entered the East Brand Military Academy in Vredefort at 17, then served in the Oranese forces till he was honorably discharged in 41. Then the armor followed him to Seminine, or at least I assume it did. And that's it. There are no records of his employment in Crenel, or any of its other incarnations. He's or he's even he's entering Ravachon. It's a garden tool used to press leaves into these cubes. It is. Thank you, Alice. I mean, it's really not. I was just curious. What about his foster parents? None, officer. Sorry. So we have to connect him to Krenel as the armor. Even that is a small miracle. Hmm. These organizations usually double check their inventory. Thank you, Alice. Great work. Hmm. No problem, Lieutenant. Well, you have his name and service record now. The name? This is very good. Elise Cortenard. Elise Cortenard. This means something to him. To know that name. Like name in a case. It's important. Aw, Kim's got his look cute little quirks. Sometimes police work is about human dignity. About giving back names to anonymous victims. I'm glad the inquiry was helpful to your investigation, officer. Did you have any other questions? 57, over and out. In the cabin, you see a set of stick. Hey guys, I'm gonna run to the bathroom. I will go AFK for like two minutes. I'm sending you to the happy place, okay?
Hey. <laughs> I can't I can't fucking believe. <laughs> yeah, okay, I was replying to Twitter when I was in the bathroom. Fuck. God forbid a bitch looks at something on her phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, let's get it. Let's get it. Guys, we have a whole world ahead of us today. Okay, what's 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 our fit? What fit are we going into with this? I want shivers. Um Where did our mesh top? Oh. Let's keep the mesh top. We got to make a hell of a first impression, right? Right? We'll take the crowbar off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do it longer next time. Nah, dude. I'm a fucking speed racer. I got places to be. I got things to do. Boxes. Bricks? <clears throat> Ooh, morale. Magnesium. Someone scribbled an inverted star on it. Eh, huh. surely none of this will be relevant later. Can we have a party for the next anniversary of the Cumgate tweet? No. <laughs> no, Cumgate was nothing. Wait, did I did I I did interact with that. But anniversary parties are cool. We could do an anniversary party for something that actually like matters. Or like was or like was really notable. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, wait, 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 hey, wait, wait, is there fuel in it? Let me check it for a sec. A banged up motor carriage lies half submerged in the icy water, slowly sinking. It must be cold and lonely down there in the icy water. A carriage in the sea. My guess is it started its journey from the plaza where it backed through the fence. Kim, let's investigate. I agree. We should definitely investigate. You get a sudden, sinking feeling. Stomach acid comes up as you look at the motor carriage in the deep, dark, cold water. Oh yeah, there's a dead guy in there. Why the doom and gloom? It's just a sunken motor carriage. Some motor carriages are bound to end up in the sea. Oh shit, is that- wait, is that, is that my car? I stroke it. The motor carriage is properly stuck in the ice. Getting it out would require a team of specialists. What's the make of this? The logo is too deep in the murky water. You can't make it out, but you do see a monkfish float by. How long's it been here? The ice hasn't closed around the vehicle yet. My guess is it's been here since last Saturday or Sunday. Let's wait for the low tide and see what's inside. I don't know. An hour or two tops? Oh shit, are we just gonna, okay, we could just sit? Okay, sure, whatever, it's not like it's gonna waste too much time, but I As figured we could do something else. the old else. rusty playground, the world around you becomes very silent. The hinges creak under your weight, dangerously so. Nothing but the sound of seagulls high above in the sky, echoing like distant laughter. Ice cracks around the blue motor carriage in the sea. A whistle a little tune. Spit flies from ah! your mouth to your Come stomach, on! your chest, the ground before you. No sound though. Raining heavily here, Chief. Mind keeping it down a bit? The lieutenant must think it's rather funny. He smiles and quickly turns away. I'd like to see you try in this bloody wind. With his lips puckered, the lieutenant lets out a beautiful melodic. <gasps> Trill that puts even the insane thrush to shame. Why is he so perfect? 
You hear the sound echo on the large body of water. Clouds race across the spring sky, and suddenly, you just feel better about everything. The clouds pass in the sky, and the shadow of the swing moves like the hour hand on a timepiece. Thirty minutes have passed. Looks like this might take a while. Time to present a good topic for discussion. <laughs> Time to present a good topic for discussion. <laughs> Would you rather sit on an ant hill for an hour or stand in a river of leeches? Well, historically, leeches have been used to prevent and even cure many ailments. <laughs> Clouds on the horizon grow darker and the shadow of the swings keeps climbing. In his pocket. You hear the distant rumble of the city. Thirty minutes pass. If you had to side with either the strikers or the shipping company, who would you choose? Luckily, I am already a member of an independent organization and therefore do not have to choose between a rock and a hot place. Okay, but what if someone puts a gun to your head? Your voice echoes on the water, strange and out of place in the environment. 30 more minutes pass. Is is that a number on the side? Yes, 41. What do you think it stands for? Oh. Does he know something about the driver of this vehicle? Oh, God, no. I'm sorry, Harry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 41. Precinct 41. A massive pit opens up in your stomach, and the most terrible feeling comes over you. No. Just nope. Say no to this, Harry. No. 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 Yes, your car is in the sea. Face no. it, so we can start dealing with this. No, I mean, seriously, it's just a coincidence. The lieutenant just shakes his head. <laughs> oh my god! I'm afraid so, yes. <clears throat> it looks like you drove your police motor carriage into the sea <sighs> after you jumped across the canal. <sighs> the patch, the gun. Now this. The lieutenant adjusts his glasses and doesn't say anything. There is also a fourth thing you've lost. A fourth thing? It's my job, isn't it? It's my fucking job, huh? They're not gonna take me back. More precious than the gun, the badge, and the motor carriage combined. <sighs> lost not... forever into the They're... deepest of seas. They're not gonna People are more valuable than machines. Training a police officer is even more costly. Maybe I was in pursuit of someone? Of whom? I don't think so. If anything, you were probably drunk. Drunk driving! <laughs> How do we get it out? Detective, we don't. A rescue operation really isn't viable at this point. So, so it's just gonna be there like that? I'm afraid it will have to be there like that for many years. Look at it. Parts of it might be salvageable, but overall, this machine is a write-off. I, I, I can fix that it! That is very unlikely. Mm. You'd be lucky to find one undamaged component in there. Well, not cheaper. This motor carriage costs 40,000 real. But in the long run, it still makes more sense to buy a new machine than try to refurbish this. Kim? Kim, are they going to be mad at me? Let's face it. This is a substantial loss to your district's budget. I mean, my station only has four other vehicles oh, in addition no, to my Oh, no, no, no. This was 20% of the station's vehicular budget. Well, at least we can look at it now. Yes, let's go take a look. Some kind of superstar. Oh, yeah. They say the world isn't ready for a rock and roll cop. Mm -mm. No one wants their state monopoly on violence to be mixed with celebrity worship. They claim to know it would be dangerous for detectives to rise to the ranks of demigods and have sexual encounters with barely legal cover girls. Feeling like a fucking it superstar insane, right now, that's say. for sure. To all this, you say, fuck off and die in a 
cool voice. You people have no idea how good these cops are gonna get. They're gonna crack 20 cases a day. In the future, cops will be like astrophysicists or prime ministers or prophets. And you're the first one. Price of self-delusion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Boy, oh boy. Let's, uh, oh, oh, there it is. There it is. We got it, Kim. <laughs> We've solved the case of the missing badge. Talk. I was crack racing, cooking your ass in the bathroom. God forbid I check my phone while I'm taking a pee. Oh my god. Footprints in the snow, they lead away from the accident. Yeah, we can interact with the badge. Let's take a look. A police badge on which you see the photo of a man. You. I found it! At least something good came out of all this. Encased between two durable plastic sheets is a bluish card with lines of information. You see a photo, a name, a rank, a document number, the date of issue. The man keeps winking at you with his green-gray eyes. But the badge is new. Good choice. A newer photo would look different. You use an old photo for a new badge. Eight, maybe How ten old? years. The guy in the picture is rather good looking. He's got a nice haircut and is distinctly lacking in massive sideburns. Why is he winking? What do you think? His face is already contorted by the expression. The expression. Although it looks less grotesque on him than it does on you now. It looks better on him, because he isn't in as much pain. Don't be fooled. The bad times have already begun. The badge in your hand shines There's as you rotate it, catching light. You see lines of information on it, and a shining watermark. See, we knew that her name wasn't Harry, it's Harrier. Harrier? That's long for Harry. So you are Harry. <clears throat> Everhart was half right. Probably not a lot of people know your full name. Whoever told him your Harry Dubois didn't. Hmm, what kind of name is Harrier? It's a wartime name, revolutionary. The kind mothers give their sons during troubled times, like Undying or Boxer or Ironhide. All right, I'll take it. We Place take to make those, we take those. Harrier Dubois. He's not going to call you Harrier. He'll keep calling you Officer <laughs> when he's angry with you, and Detective when well, he's not. I guess I haven't noticed that. <laughs> the badge in your hands shines as you rotate it. Cat Lieutenant W. Freighter. The lieutenant is a rank above sergeant and below captain. It's the highest rank in the RCM that still does field work. I am a lieutenant. The title of Freighter is added to your rank when you decline a promotion to a higher oh. rank. In your case, captain. You have declined twice. There are many reasons one would do this. The rank above you in your precincts décontage might be taken. Or sometimes promoted officers do not want to replace their superiors. And sometimes they just prefer the type of police work available to their current rank. In Heavy duty case solving machine. Décontage is the hierarchical system employed. The lowest rank is junior officer, usually teenagers. Then there are the patrol officers, then sergeants, lieutenants, and then a captain. That's basically it, except for a few kinks. Why kings? Kings like satellite officers and the additionally a freighter rank I already explained. What's a satellite officer? You are given the title of satellite officer if your partner is quickly promoted through the oh, ranks and okay, you rise okay. with him. You don't seem to be a satellite. So you've been putting up with my shit because I'm your super... No, we're the same rank. We're both lieutenants. No, I've been putting up with you because despite an unconventional approach, you are doing good police work. Aw. Aw, Kim. It matters more than driving your motor carriage into the sea. Oh, Kim. I know we've even found your badge. He trusts you for now. Try not to spoil such a small yet precious thing. Expensive paper caught between thick plastic 
That's just the serial number. Bref, I Four months ago. I'm guessing that's when you were promoted to the rank of Lieutenant W. Freighter. Oh god, so we got a promotion four months ago, which means we went off, we had like, maybe we were always like a little fucked up, but we went off the deep end within the last four months. Because there was no way we would have got a, good, could have gotten a promotion before A new that. badge usually comes with a new rank. You seem mm. to have been doing well then. You're pretty sure you weren't doing well, but better? Probably, yes. A lot can happen in four months. Especially in winter. The winters are never easy on you. Of that you are sure. Amen, brother! <laughs> he, another, he another SAD poster child. Love that. I remember that time! That was a good time. We had a good work-drink balance going. What happened, man? Pump it up! Shh. Hush. Strokes it. Yes, it's the designation of your precinct. It's a tough station to work in. You have all of Jamrock to cover. That district should have three precincts, but money is what it is. It's no wonder you are like you are, he thinks. But then again... But then again, it's a legendary district and a hell of a station too. The badge in your hand shines as you rotate it, catching light. Hmm. Hmm, what happened, man? Four months. Four months and we fucking lost it. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. It's only a red chair. But... Just a red chair in an empty shack. With what looked like a dusty bow tie on the shelf. Nothing to see here, right? Hey, Kim. Where are we? In someone's abandoned shack. On the coast. In Martinez. Mm. In Ravachol. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's afraid you've forgotten suddenly. What's with the red chair? Nothing. It's just a piece of furniture. Yeah, I saw that one, Skitter. I liked that one on Twitter, so it might have been on people's feeds. <laughs> red paint is peeling off it. Looks like blood, no? What? No. Could our suspect be staying here? Here. I don't see signs of recent habitation. See? He doesn't like the vibration from the red chair either. Kim, I really don't like this red chair. What the hell is this? Oh, postcard. That's nice. Ooh, okay. Plus two drama for us. No, we have to keep Inland Empire. I love Inland Empire. Boat. I, uh, I definitely intend to watch more of Dungeon Meshi. I've seen the first episode. I've heard it like, I wasn't like entirely sold at first. I was like, oh, this is like a cute, like fantasy slice of life show. But I've heard it like gets hard. I've heard it goes crazy, um, which is pretty exciting. Kingdom of Conscience. Finally, new pants. God damn. Mm. These are some wonderfully regular pants. Oh yeah, these are nice. Not too tight, not too loose, moderate in every sense. You blend right in at some pleasant dinner party. I like regular normal things. Mm -hmm. I know you do. These inter-Isolari pants are like huh. wearing a perfect compromise in your nether regions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No one will call the moral intern on you like this. That's for sure. You're a little more moralist now, buddy. Hey. A little more normal. Wait, what? Even if you didn't want to be. Wait, I just like the stat bonus. Wait. <laughs> I'm not a freaking moralist. I'll never be a moralist. I'd rather die. Resist, Firewalker, resist! Hmm. 
This place looks like shit. Wait, Kingdom of Conscience is the- Oh! I see. Oh, I see. Well, I want to see what it, like, triggers, you know? Oh my god! Oh, a new, another bird! Oh. I, I can just... I can just take it? I can just take the bird? Kim, don't look. Hello, child. Hello, mister. Hello! She clutches a small stuffed animal. Occasionally, she twirls it around. I heard there was a girl here who has armored gloves. Is that you? Oh, I had gloves. Very big ones. Heavy, too. Where did you get these gloves? Found them when Lemmy and I were playing hide and seek. In an empty house. When no one lives, I think someone hid them there. She doesn't want you to think she stole them. Where are the gloves now? I hid them. The twins were going to take them. They're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> They're stupid. We're going to need those gloves. It's for important police business. Oh. They're in my sand castle. Behind our house. Under the sand. You can break the castle. It's not very good. <laughs> She's cute. Do you know anyone named Ruby? Yeah. Luby. Ruh. Ruh. Ruby. Ruby? Ruby, maybe. My mom tells me I'm a big girl, but she doesn't know that I can't say Earl. Or like, sometimes I can, but then, oh. Ruby. Ruh. Ruh. Oh no, we have to destroy our sand castle. Kids. <laughs> Where are your parents? My mom's outside. And I don't really know about my dad. Uh, what's this bird? It's a grouse. A grouse? That's awesome. I. You might be able to get on Garth's good side. Have seen if those. You a broker scooter, you almost certainly broke. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I have it? I know someone who really likes stuffed birds. Sure. I mean, you already took it. I don't like it anyway. It looks angry. Oh, uh, what? What do you have? What's that? What's that in your hand? It's Lammy. He's my friend. So, like. Lambie is a stuffed lamb that, admittedly, has seen better days. One of the eye buttons is missing, and the fur is tattered in several parts. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you, Lammy. Lammy usually doesn't like strangers, but you're also fuzzy, like Lammy. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Aww. A fucking light somewhere at the end of the tunnel. Oh, the, I bet those were the twins, huh? We'll talk to them in a minute. Weather has not been kind to Lily's little sandcastle. The once mighty towers are quickly eroding away. You it's can see broken. something. The little castle? The reigning lord must have come upon some really tough times to let it sleep in such decrepitude. The walls and floors give way to the giant's greed. Collapse and present you with a pair of ceramic gauntlets. Congratulations. That's the gauntlets down then. We're doing good on the armor collection front. Well, that was easy. I kind of assumed that would take us down like a quest line for some reason. All right. What's up, kids? These the ones probably aren't going to be as boy cute. Kicks a stone. The other one looks indistinguishable from him. He watches his brother kick the stone with his tongue lolling out of his mouth. You seen any bad people around? Is that your sister? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Yes. 
Uh, where's your mom? The kids don't reply. Absorbed in their little game. Haha! <laughs> you guys look identical. The stone kicking one becomes frantic all of a sudden. As if that's something to be scared of. The obvious fact that you just uh... stated. He looks just like me. Yeah, I said that. The boy doesn't answer. His brother throws another rock. You're bad with kids. I... What, what what are you then, Kid Master General? I got, got him! Maybe I am. <laughs> now, how about some actual police work? We are not getting anything here. Bye. Wait, have you seen any bad people? What bad people? I don't think questioning for you. Okay, whatever, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the fishing village. Please lean in closer. I have cataracts. Uh. Oh, welcome, police officer. We don't oh. cause any trouble around. We are not here to cause any trouble, madame. Trouble? Say the second thing, Bratan. Shows you got style. <laughs> we don't cause trouble. We take care of trouble. We're not. We're not going to be hellraisers. Not in front of Kim. Oh. Of course. <laughs> Last time we saw you around here was 12 years ago. You also came to take care of trouble then. Wish you did. But still, in Martinez, you're considered an ill omen. I've been here before? No, not you personally. Oh, okay. I met the RCM. Some of the men got into a fight. One of them killed another. Locked himself in that woodshed over there. He was boarding. Needed some help opening the door. You got it open for him. It took him to think about what he'd done in a more secluded place. She says it as if he was on some kind of spiritual retreat. Mm, what kind of ill omen are we talking? Oh, the usual. Dark tidings. That's you, all right. A black hound licking your own heels. Hell yeah? Hell, hell yeah. Um, all right. You're not. No one around here considers us an ill omen. People would have told us. Maybe they are afraid. What? Because you're an ill omen. Well, I'm yeah. sorry there's not a lot of room to park the motor carriage. And not a lot of houses. Or a lot of people. My kids are long gone. Searching for treasure. So are others. Ah, yeah, that is look kinda at naive me, for Kim. What brings you to us? Have you seen a red-haired woman named Ruby? Nay, I haven't seen anyone lately. You know who I'm talking about? This is my little cinder block town. Mm. I know what goes on around here. She's being evasive. Mm. She knows something. There was a murder in Martinez. She might be a suspect. Would you now? I know how this world works, and it doesn't work when people tell on each other. <laughs> Girl, what the fuck? <laughs> this is just like when that man locked himself in the woodshed. We just need to help her come out. No, it's not like that man. With him, we called you. Right now, you just arrive by yourself, like a raven plucking at the window glass. I see. You know something, but you decided not to tell us. There's not much to tell. People come and go. Now, was there something else? I see, ma'am. I hope you don't mind if we look around anyway. Ruby was here. You know it. Ask her about We can lodges. sniff it. We can smell it. Uh, where can somebody stay around here? If it isn't my favorite paralegal marathon or sister zoned moth, thanks for introducing me to Sleep Token. I love Aqua Regia. <laughs> You're welcome. I love Aqua Regia too. Stay? Most people here are trying to leave. That said, if lodgings is what you're looking for, I've got a free room in the shack. Mm, really? How much is I it? I won't charge you for it. 
take it as a gesture of goodwill from the village to the RCM. Uh, you're just giving it to me? No one is using it, and God knows it's not much anyway. You can stay there. Ah. Uh. Yo, listen, there's this guy, Garte, who makes me give him money every night just so that I don't die in hmm. the cold. That's exactly how they get ya. That's why we <laughs> built our own cinder block houses on the seaside. So we don't have to give money to those crooks. We might not look like much, but they are ours. One more time, I can just... have the room? Aye. The room is pretty bare bones. But it's got a bed and roof over it. That's more than some folks have around here. This could be the first chapter of my Rags to Riches memoir. Surely not the first one. You got yourself so a tenant. Inter Don't make an old woman regret opening her house to the police. Well, if you are not in the hostel in the morning, I'll know where to find you. Here, in a shack. Hell yeah! He's a little relieved you're no longer in that room. Should he? This environment encourages one thing, and one thing only. Drinking. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Please don't make me regret <laughs> giving, giving you a room. <laughs> I'm gonna trash this place, motherfucker! Finally, you have those lame-os of Martinez off your back, Bratan. This looks like a great yeah, place baby. to bring chicks. What's in this fishing village? Just us. It's barely a village anymore. We almost don't exist. This is pretty much mean? a non-place. A gap, a blank spot on the map, just a cluster of nameless shacks on a nameless street. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say it, like, Harry is definitely the guy at the party who's like, where's the hose? And then when the hose show up, he like, buries his face in his phone, right? Who else lives in this village? Well, there's Lillian and her kids. A few new folks live in the house to the east. But they are away right now. And then there's the drunks. Mm -hmm. Not a pretty Dr sight, Drunks? But Where? there's little we can do about it. Home is home, even for them. Sooner or later, you'll see for yourself. Don't have to look long to find these guys. Gotta be something here. Over there, you can find more of the same. Shacks and trees growing wild. That's the pox. The pox? An old military hospital and its surroundings. Or oh, it used to be. After the war, it was turned into a goodwill hospital for mm. shell shock veterans and folks looking for some quiet. Now the area is crisscross with nameless streets and makeshift cinder block houses. What happened to the hospital? Shut the goodwill ran out. The staff left and the place was shut down. It's long gone by now. Is there a way to make money here? Here? For you? No, officer. The only money we have here is some coins the drunks try hiding from their women. She nods, rinsing another piece of cloth. What's further down the coast? Not much. There's the abandoned church, the Dolorian Church of Humanity. It's been there since before my time, even. Why is it abandoned? Some things just don't fly, officer. Look around. Who'd go to church here? They built it 300 years ago. Must have been nicer then. So, they don't hold services there anymore? The Ecclesiastes? No, we've tried, but things just keep happening. Crime, accidents, other things. She's not telling you all she knows. Keep her talking. Hmm, I get the feeling you're leaving stuff out. Well, there's that music. Music from across the sea. Oh. Huh. It started a few days ago, and now it's blasting, even through the night. And now, suspicious-looking people are sneaking around the church. I don't like that. Huh. Interesting. You could look into this ruckus if you have the time. Perhaps the mysterious music is somehow connected to the case. <laughs> a yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 or a sure. Or half-demonic Absura singing 
What else is down coast? Before you get to the church, there's some ruins, an apartment complex, or some kind of electrical plant. Run down bunch of houses, empty. I don't know exactly. A pre-war place. It used to be something. Of note, the old fish market up on the boardwalk. But it's closed. All right. Well, eh. no one. That's, That's why, why it's, it's closed. closed. Now, I don't know, man. What catch we do bring in goes straight into a lorry for the Delta or somewhere else. What? You're one of those real estate people with big plans? If you want a development opportunity, you can check out the abandoned building over at Lensen. Used to be a supply depot, and now you know everything there is to know about this coast. Mm, that's enough. That's enough. I've had more. I, I've had my fill. The door has seen better days. The layer of paint has started to peel off. Oh, this is my key. I'll right. wait outside to give you some time and privacy to check out your new. After we are done with the day. I'll still be staying in the whirling in rags for the night. The key turns. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't really need to go in there right now. We'll look, I will look at the at the window though. I'll take a peek inside with me. Oh, we can't. Hmm. Hmm. On a hoboed cop. Hi. Hi, officer. Hey, girl. A sword in a scabbard hangs from her hip. What? Anything I can help you with? What's your? N I'm the law. I'm the law. I am the law. First You've of all. You've graduated to lawbringer now. Firewalker, lawbringer, anything, everything. I'm the last communist. I'm the human can opener. I'm the law. Men with authority have their quirks. Comes with never being second guessed about anything. So what brings so you true. here, Lawbringer? Uh, what's your name? The name is Lillian. People call me Netpicker. I think I have time for questions. What are the other ones? Ask her about the cool sword. Helps to break the ice. Nice sword. Come with a story? Unfortunately, the factory sold this one with a three-year warranty instead of story. <laughs> it's to intimidate folks, mostly. It is imposing. It's yep. a regular mass-produced sword, like a shovel or an axe. Nothing fancy, just for intimidation. Why do you need intimidation tactics? From time to time, people need a lesson in respect. That's just the way it is. Back in the day, I caught the eyes of many men. <laughs> and believe me, Men need a lesson in manners from time to time. Can I borrow it? <laughs> Where are all the men now? Moved on. Some went to patch their wounds, their lesson learned. Others were more thick-headed. And one of them, I ended up marrying. Where's your husband? Gone. Gone? Coward! I would never leave anyone! Uh... Good for you. He, however, was lost to the waves. It's been quite a while now. That's bad. What happened? Who knows? Maybe he fell over. He didn't respect the sea. Went out there, drunk like a skunk, and sure enough, one day, the boat was found floating empty. The bloated corpse turned up two weeks later. Aw, oh, man. Oh man, I, I rolled up to Riz this girl, and now we're talking about her dead husband's bloated corpse. Why does this always end up happening? Now, before you tell me how sorry you are for my loss, know that it was four years ago, and I've moved on. There's only so much mourning you can do for a drunk with sinewy muscles. Uh, you should have thrown yourself in the waves after him. <laughs> it's healthy to let go move on gotta keep the wheels spinning us working folk don't have the luxury to be bed sick with melancholy i buried him mourned for an appropriate amount of time and went on 
Life didn't really change that much for me and the kids. This is neither a touchy nor a very interesting topic for her. She looks like she's ready to go on a date with another, better, drunk. <laughs> Ask her, both of them could need some action. Yeah, you, yeah, you know what? Hmm. Do it! Hit on the widow! It's the right thing to do! <laughs> is that your boat? Sure is. Fuck! The sun, I call her. Coated with a fresh layer of tar just yesterday. It'll take some time for it to dry, assuming the sunny days continue. Uh, what do you do around here? Like I said, fish mostly. Sail the waves, take care of the kids, pick nets. Right now I'm tarring a little skiff. Is that enough to make a living? Sometimes I also walk to the beach to see what the sea has given up. The sea is full of surprises. This is what is called a conversation. You don't have to <laughs> Fuck you! Interesting. What have you found? Wood. Pieces of glass. Every once in a while we see dead bodies. Human, mm -hmm. animal, fish, other odd sea creatures. A mine washed ashore once. Bottles, drugs also. Lost cargo in general. Most of the time it's just wood and glass. All right. Major choice moment. You only get to ask one thing. It would be weird to say them all. Choose wisely. <laughs> Drugs? I need info on this. Major narc. <laughs> Fuck. All of these are fucking terrible questions. <laughs> Do I need to know about those human bodies? This place looks bad. Why don't you leave? And go where? The fish are plentiful here and we get enough orders to get by. It's not great, but it's something. I understand what you're saying. It could be worse elsewhere. Exactly. I don't mean to complain about my sad, pauper life. We do manage all right. We're tough people here. She would like to complain. She would like that very much. But she, she can't, can't. And she, she won't. Though, has gotten her this far, and she's not given it up. <laughs> she needs to go on a date with another drunk. Badly. <laughs> Let's see. Who are you looking for? Looking for a suspect who might have stayed in this neighborhood. Okay. When did this person stay here? Recently, past few days. Might have arrived on Friday. Oh. I've been out on the sea for most of the past week. The weather's been good for fishing, so I usually start at four in the morning. Really? Yes, that's the optimal time. Sorry I couldn't help you out. Maybe that's it. Well, how can I assist you then, officer? I'm looking for someone else, actually. Oh? Huh? Oh, never mind. Well, how can... That's weird. That's a weird prompt. We're probably gonna have to come back to her. I mean, you know, not not just for Dato, but... <clears throat> Boots! Don't mind if I do. Oh, hey! I'll just keep the cordial late in the channel, if that's okay. It's too shallow near the pier. Hi, ma'am. And it's a jetty, by the way. Of course. Jetty. I prefer a good jetty to a pier any day. Jet, jet, jetty. Jet, jet, jetty. Hi, Joyce. Hello, detectives. It's good to see you here. I only just arrived myself. What brings you here, madam? Nothing, really. I've had my eye on this jetty for weeks Damn, now. Damn, she's a real so jetty So I decided to investigate it personally. This cluster of buildings isn't on any of the official maps. That. And she's also keeping an eye on you. Yeah, I really like Joyce too. I think she's cool. Are you spying on us? Spying has such a negative connotation. I did track your progress along the coast, however. 
and decided I would be better able to assist you from here. Then there's the matter of that little scamp in old lady clothes. She threatened to paint the cordillate she read. Like blood, you see. Well, I like it the way it is. White. So how do you like a year? Hmm. How do I like it? Water drips down eaves of Etonite. The jetty below her feet creaks to the tune. The smell of salt and dog shit in the background. Ew. It's pornographically poor. The street has no name, Girl, all the men are dead <laughs> or missing. And is that the carcass of a motor carriage over there? Oh, you don't, don't worry about it. I'm surprised that woman hasn't put me to the sword yet. Don't worry about it. Maybe she will. You should ask your questions while you can. Dark eyes survey the coast leading up to Martinez. Dull grey metal rests in her scabbard. A sword. The wind is too loud for her to hear. Fortunately for you, madame, the RCM is on the scene. You're in no danger. The working class have no idea what's happened to them. That they don't. <laughs> it's early spring and the rains are coming. An officer enters a low hut of stone and wood. Inside, weapons are piled against the walls. Rifles with splintering stocks. They're antiques, says Lieutenant John, the archetype. The children carry them up. Come May, the streets will be flooded. Outside, the wind rattles the loose hatches, flooded with cheap weapons in angry hands. Have I told you how they discovered this place? This... Islands? No, the Insul Indian Isola. What is an Isola? I'm guessing you don't know then. No. Nope. Well, your condition has <sighs> left you no worse off than most of these people. The literacy rate is around 45% west of the river. 50 years of occupation have left these people in an oblivion of poverty. Oblivion? That's so me. I knew you would sympathize. Most <laughs> Revisholians will never know what this place means. Our home. This island of matter. Or why they were ferried over in the first place. Remind me to tell you one day. For now, how can I assist you in this new location? Tell me something else, then. Of course. I hear you have singled out a oh, suspect oh. and are in pursuit. This is cause for cautious optimism. I found my badge! You did. Pleased to meet you, Lieutenant W. Freighter Dubois. I am glad to see a man of high qualification. The situation <laughs> yep. is precarious. Me. High qualifications. Me, Dubois. What can I help you with, Lieutenant Tia Freighter? Wow, you work hard. I... I do? Oh, yes. You hustle. You're a provider. It's tough out there, but you keep it real and provide. I do, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like a horse. Uh -huh. A workhorse. Mm -hmm. For hard work. What hard work do I do, exactly? Look at yourself. You're a human pedometer. You must mm. have walked mm. 200,000 steps mm -hmm. down cracked asphalt, mosaic, sand and lelonium after you re-emerged. That is the sign of a hustler who never gives up. The world is harsh and people are evil. You didn't make it that way and you won't let it break you. You ride. <laughs> yeah, I guess I ride a little. I fucking ride till I die, bitch! That's just what it's like. Life and death. But you got gills on your side, baby. Got those black papers with the faces of the innocents on them. You bring in the Franco Negros mm -hmm. and the Solas. It ain't easy, but you do it. Day in and day out. You didn't make the rules, but you won't lose. You're a cop and a sprinter and a money printer. Yeah, yeah, I guess I, I made some kills, sure. Sure, sure. And has it been easy? Is life easy? Have you not gone into cardiac arrest? Are you not about to have an anxiety attack or shoot yourself in the mouth? But you still hustle 24-7, ride or die. Now, you right, ride right until I die, baby. Are you rich? <laughs> uh... No, I'm not rich. No. That's right. 
You work harder than anyone. anyone. You yeah. almost rode yourself to the grave, and you're still yeah. practically a hobo. Why is that? The system is broken. Boo hoo. The system is broken. The establishment is keeping me down. That's not the fuck here attitude you're used to. What is this? It's because of that fucking so... Garte guy! The Gart man has set himself up one of those self-replicating money structures. You should learn from it. Don't play the victim. Think, hustler. Think with your head. <laughs> There's a market for corrupt cops out there, but the immigrant cops have price dumped it! I don't know. Why am I so poor? Because of the taxes. G-Man's got his jam-covered sticky fingers in your pocket, stealing from you every time you buy, sell, walk, talk, fart, so much as sneeze. Every time I sneeze? Every time you wipe your ass, they got their direct oh. and their indirect modes of taxation. 98% of all your money. No fucking way! 98! Wait, are you sure it's 98? What are you not sure about? They're milking your nipples till they bleed. Can't you see? Aren't you sick and tired of having bloody nipples? No fucking way! Wait, can I be a free market fundamentalist, fund fundamentalist and, and the last communist at the same time? Can I just become more distorted and twisted? How about I opt in a little? I dip my little toe in. I'm like, hmm. Maybe the maybe the last communist, his nipples are bleeding just a little. <laughs> yeah. It's all about the tax issue, hustler. No other problem in the world is as pressing as top marginal tax rates. And don't you fucking forget it. Well. Where are we going now? Become a radical centrist by taking all the extreme options from every part of the axis. That's a really good idea. Oh. Wait. Oh, shit. Can I cross through here? What the fuck? Why can't I cross through there? Oh, I guess we, yeah, we could do the Joyce reality you check again. And put your oh. hand on the garish necktie. That bottle, Bratan! Just look at that bottle! B bottle? Where? Huh? What? In this drunk's hand, on the pipe there. Glowing blue, a mysterious, otherworldly blue, filled to the brim with holy mysteries. Okay. Cool. What do I do next? Oh, I think this is about so much more than cool. Please go talk to him. See what it's about. I'm drawn mm. to it. Mm. Oh, thorny bushes. I want to learn about this bottle. Is it you? Is it you? It's you. Thank you. Yeah? The noxious odor emanating from the drunken man is strong and familiar. Don't you call her? Yeah! Don't you call Abigail! I am the law. <sighs> you really don't have to. Besides, he won't understand you anyway. Abigail. Mm. Oh, Abigail. Who's Abigail? Uh huh. Abigail. Abigail is his wife or girlfriend. Is it? Chances are, she's gone. Calling her wouldn't make it any better or worse. The X something. Seen any woman around? Abigail? Yeah, I'm we're not, we're not, we're not getting anything out of this guy. Hey. Blue bottle thoughts? Thoughts? Tell me about hey, it. Hey, tequila. 
good to see you. How's business? How's the whole reality situation treating you? Mm -mm. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. So what's happening? Wait, tequila? Yeah, tequila sunset. How are the um, high concept reality based adventures proceeding? Huh? Did it. Good. These people know your true name. Looks like it has preceded you, Mr. Sunset. <laughs> what the More fuck? More on that later. I like this guy. You should too. He respects you by calling you your true name. Reminds me of that post that's like just saw a man flip a coin and then unblock a contact named absolutely not and text hey with a slutty amount of whys. Yeah, I do that. I'm on a 50 year losing streak. I have re-entered reality to conquer it, to bend it to my will. That's the spirit. I used to shape reality into my image a long time ago. Those days are over now. Sadly, things aren't going that well in idiot doom spiral land. <laughs> haven't found those keys yet. Haven't won that great piece of ass back. No word from my business buddies. This guy's your buddy, buddy. You feel it immediately. You belong to an organization, a fraternity of drunks. You seen a red-haired woman named Ruby around? Can't really remember seeing any women after losing my keys. He really has no idea who this Ruby is, sire. Uh, what do you guys do around here? We are saving the world. Please! Please don't call. Okay, we're drinking. We're drinking alcohol. That's what we're doing. I tried to save the world once, a long time ago, with enterprise, creativity, and willpower. So now, it's a pirate's life for me. What's a tequila sunset? It's you. Your tequila sunset. We've met before. Don't you remember? N no. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you want to know how Tequila Sunset came to be? I'd love to know. Tequila. Tequila Sunset. Something ominous there. I'm gonna push. Maybe I shouldn't learn what it means. No. I want... I need to know. Tell me more about myself, idiot doom spiral. Mm-hmm. Let me take a sip to moisten up my cords. Tequila Sunset rolled into Martinez last Friday. And by Tequila Sunset, I mean you. The man, the myth. Fart or chair, call it. Here, I'll... It's the chair. Wait, did we meet on Friday? Hey, let's not jump ahead of ourselves. This is your story. Stop interrupting. <laughs> God, she is ripping it off. It. Stop! 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 I need to get an actual chair, anyways, because apparently gamer chairs are all scams, and I didn't know about it. You got here on Friday to solve a case, hoping to be the early bird who gets the worm. And by the worm, I mean the buzz. Because as far as I know, all you did was get pissed drunk. Word on the street is you went around the local hostel telling people that you're a police officer and that it would be really fucked up if you <laughs> shot yourself in the head right in front of them. That's pretty high concept if you ask me. That's so fucking cool. The lieutenant's brow is furrowed. He's listening as casually as he can. Oh yeah, that's not the first time this has come up. Hey man, I'm not judging. Sorry. I'm sorry. This life's a valley of woes. Some of the highest concept people in history have killed themselves and been drunks. Either way, it was a late Saturday night when we, the Union of Marvin Alcoholics, got our drink on. Nothing remarkable about this. We get our drink on 24 7. Oh, yes, you do, Bratushka! The only thing better than that is putting the pedal to the metal after you kiss the tie. And off we go! Shh. Hush now. One moment we hear the sound of a motor carriage revving up somewhere on the plaza, followed by a series of dings and bangs. 
Do you remember the sound of wood cracking? The billboard? Naturally, loud noises pique the interest of anybody owning a pair of ears. That's just the reality we're in. N naturally, keep going. Anyway, there was a brief silence. A gasp of silence, if you will. Followed by a real commotion. We heard the carriage careening towards the coast at top speed. Sounded like someone jumped the canal. We Hell grabbed yeah. our brewskis and rushed to the jetty. Never underestimate the speed of an alcoholic. What we saw was a sight to behold. A beat-up police carriage containing you. Right there on the beach, you revved the engine and screamed at the top of your lungs, The time hath come! Badass! So, naturally, being the curious <laughs> cat I am, I asked what time hath come. To which you replied, The time hath come for tequila sunset! The end of all things! <laughs> That's badass! Oh god, what happened next? Your reality contracted. You jammed the pedal, plowed right off the jetty, and through the ice. We ran towards the ice whilst you crawled your way out, miraculously unhurt, covered in seaweed and shit. Like some kind of sea monster. When we finally got there, you were sitting on the beach crying. Oh. You said that your badge and uniform were in the car. Oh. It was too late to get in there, though. The carriage had sunk too deep. Recognizing a brother in need, we offered our condolences and invited you to party with us, which you naturally agreed to. We asked about the whole tequila sunset thing, and you told us it was your name now, and insisted that we all call you that from then on. <clears throat> sorry, sorry. My real name is Harry? No, that's just what your mother called you. Your real name is Tequila Sunset. <laughs> Just embrace it, brother! <laughs> How long did we party for? Hours. It was an all-night drinkathon. Then, at some point, I think it was Sunday morning, you got belligerent and wanted to talk about Revacholian women. How they're beautiful and also whores and so on. How one of them fucked you real bad. After a short while, you crossed the event horizon, looked sullen, got up, and left without saying anything. Wow, that's quite a story. Yeah, I bet Tequila's a fucking legend around the precinct. You must be proud to work with him. If you only knew. Did I tell you any specific thing about the person that fucked me? You were pretty vague about it, but you kept saying you got fucked real hard. And that we've all been fucked, too. Please, don't open that door. Uh, uh, but, but, but inland, but inland. No one's fucked The me. not knowing I makes it worse. Abigail. It seemed pretty painful, to be honest with you. If I had to guess, I'd say you're still working through some shit. Yeah, we don't have heels. Ugh. Ugh. What if we die? <laughs> Did I lose anything else? Beside your gun and your badge? You said something about your hope or heart or something. Real, real. To be honest, the details are a little hazy. In retrospect, I guess you lost your motor carriage too? That's a big one. Did I say anything about my colleagues? You told us that they were a bunch of fucking losers whose main interest was cramping your Fuck, style. that's so true. That's so real. It's more like you were cramping this. No specifics, though. It was more about you that night. You were the star of the show. Did I say anything about the case? Yeah, you said it was no biggie and that you'd solve it in no time. And that you didn't need anyone to do it. You're doing it solo now. A lot of cops go solo and hermit once they reach that level of alcoholism. <laughs> it's not meant as a joke. He's sorry for the hermit cop. Did we talk about, um, politics? Yeah, you kept talking about how the coal mine owners were fucking us all over, just like that woman fucked you. I didn't agree with you, 
by the way. The spectral hand of the market makes sure everyone gets exactly <laughs> what they deserve. <laughs> <Do> you... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're getting wanked by the invisible hand over there. Yeah, yeah, I, I see that. I see that. You get a read on what kind of cop I was? You kept apologizing for being such a bad cop and for the damage you inflicted <laughs> the on everyone around you. Invisible hand fucked my wife. <laughs> You also kept pausing to knock the heel of your hand against your temples, saying, Stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> no way, dude. Stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> I don't need to hear it anymore. It's a hard thing for a man to confront his past. That's why I avoid mine at all costs. <laughs> Characterize what your storytelling ability was. <laughs> Another one sometime. Whoop de doo. So now I'm a fucking storyteller. Right. <laughs> Why not? Better than a beach bum. Can you tell me how you became an idiot doom spiral? It depends, really. You might get scammed here. I have a feeling this is gonna cost me a lot. No, <laughs> the reality of the situation requires a rather modest contribution. A little motivational package what do you mean booze so have well, you got anything any for good old idiot doom spiral then i will see you again once you've procured some all kinds sir Later. you too tequila stupid 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 what if i did that on stream when i couldn't solve a puzzle fast enough what if I just started doing that? At... <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. <clears throat> oh, here we go. We didn't go past here. A little black swallow circles above me. I missed one? What do you mean I missed one? Oh, okay. The third guy. Hey. Hey, girl. Good to see you, friend. Do I have deals set up for you, buddy boy? What are you talking about? If I did that on a drunk stream, it's because... It's because in, like, one of my friend groups, like, we already do the stupid, stupid, stupid thing as, like, a joke. <laughs> So, like, the reason I laughed, like, lost my shit so hard at that was because that's been an in-joke in one of my friend groups. <laughs> what are you talking about? So what do you want? I've got smokes. They're cheap. Very cheap. I've got pills Like, now. it's an... Great deal. <laughs> Guys, you won't get stop. A deal on Guys, it's not even my Here, joke. I can let go for 300 real. I also have speed. And by speed... I mean amphetamine. It's not even my bit. <laughs> okay. See? There it is, Bratushka! The spirit! That's by the spirit! 300 real is a lot, but this has to be done! It's our end game! Uh, I... I'm Snap out of it, this. Bratan! This is no time for melancholy introspection! Return, you don't understand. It's, it's not, not just, just another, another drink. drink. This is what our relationship has been building towards all these years. You have to buy it from him. Get it off him. Kill him if you have to. Yo, our chill. Our ultimate fate depends on it. And the lieutenant looks at you, looking at the bottle of spirits, then what at Rosemary, suspiciously. I no, I can't. I can't. Not not in front of him. In we the have civilized to leave. Well. Not in front of him. Uh, I don't even have 300 coins. We have to leave. We have to go. Kill him and take it. No. How do we get up here? Is there like invisible stairs? 
Well, there's an invisible something. Ah. Oh. Yo, thanks for the tier two, Eru. And thanks, Kiwa Bug, and thanks, Swirls, and thanks, Businessman. Thank you, guys. Mmm, the instigator. People, people. People, people. Is this a hat? Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Holy shit. I look good. Oh, my God. Fucking Christ, man. A scattering of bullet holes is spread across the cracked wall, reaching from one corner to the other. Mm, there's so many bullet holes. Oh, we'll come back to that. Hmm, correct. The density of the bullet holes is unusual. Even in a general, average bullet hole frequency in Martinez's sense. Grim affairs. Maybe they just like to, like, shoot that wall. Meaning, this is a lot of bullet holes. Looks like fully automatic rifle fire. Something you don't see these days. Why not? The manufacturing and sale of automatic rifles was curtailed after the revolution. Mm, I see. Here, let me see if we can... <clears throat> Ooh! Don't mind if I do. Strength and digits. Chat, what is interfacing? I don't understand it. I kind of prefer this drift anyways. The gloves look kind of silly. No offense. A scattering of bullet holes is spread across the cracked wall. A row of Finally! ghostly shades Fuck. stand facing the wall. There are many of them. A dozen at least. The heads lowered and eyes blindfolded. It's quiet. No sound. No movement. Oh. Ten meters away, other shades are lined up in an orderly manner. Automatic rifles primed. A gust of wind blows by. The coats of the firing squad flap slowly in the breeze. A single person stands on the side. The sun blazes high up in the sky, baking the planks, the sand, your skin. A long time has passed since the moment of this fusillading. Rain and brine have since washed all the blood away. The abundance of bullet holes leads to two options. Either an inordinate amount of executions were performed here, or they did not use a conscience round, where only one soldier has the loaded rifle. Looks like this was a mass execution with everyone fully armed. Mm. A host of men, probably in everyday clothes, ragged from the conflict and covered in dust. They were not sitting, a common practice for executions in some nations. They stand, facing the wall, Ordinary people, familiar, each and every one of them. Comrades, the forsaken, ah, comrades. the wretched, who tried to rise against the horrors of the world. Have a good night, Quiltas. Seven men in combat uniforms and dark coats, holding automatic rifles aimed at the people. The commandant, the one who gives the order. Machine gun fire crackling through the air. The lights of the muzzle flashes dancing on his face. Kim? 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 Who was in this execution? Who was who? I don't know. I don't know who died here, lined up beside that horrible wall. It could have been any of the parties involved in the revolution. Perhaps the ones executed here were the loyalist conservatives killed by the communists at the start of the civil war. Or it could have been the communists put to death during the last stretch of the conflict by the coalition forces. It could even have been the employees of the failed R&D center down the coast, as... Or maybe... 
What about the people from the coalition, the so-called moralists? Yeah, it's very unlikely the coalition forces were the ones who died here. They were always the last ones against the wall. To be honest, if a coalition <laughs> member was anyone in this situation, it was a commandant, the superior giving the orders. A cold sea wind blows away the figures. Huh. Bomber. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Hmm. Let's loop around back here because we sort of auto pathed all the way around this circle. Oversized superstar sunglasses. Don't mind if I do. Oh, yeah. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Yeah, I know he probably needs to buy some health. What are the chances, chat? What are the chances that something really bad happens to us here? Besides, does this look like a shop to you? Well, hold on. There might be a door or something. I'm Tequila Sunset, baby. You see, a once bright mural towering above you. The signage has peeled off of Electrical R&D. Chances, chat. Me, Tequila Sunset. They can't kill me. Oh, the church. Wait, quick travel? Someone has left an unidentifiable article of clothing on this railing. It smells really bad. Mm, squints at it. It's streaked with dried seagull shit and tangled with pieces of seaweed. A dangling arm suggests that there might be a jacket, but it seems likely that it was left in the surf until someone laid it out on this fence to dry out. Please tell me you're not taking that with you. Why not? It's a guano encrusted jacket, and you're already carrying around enough as it is. Mm, fine. Fine. Yeah, I'll regularly save. Don't worry, don't worry. Well, you can worry a little. What the fuck is this? Huh. Hmm. Coin operated weighing machine. Oh. I don't want the jacket, guys. It's dirty, it's covered in poop. I don't want to wear it loud or wear it proud. We're trying to fix ourselves. A metal payphone under a yellow plastic dome. You could use it to call someone <laughs> unless you're out of change. Call. Hello? You hear the tone. The machine is inoperable. <laughs> A random number, huh? It's an o it's opera. Uh, um, that's not a random number. That's not a random number. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> I'm gonna call it. You pick up the handset. There's a tone. The machine is operable. Calling. Still calling. This feels wrong. Should you be doing this? End of tone. Someone picks up. Pear? Is that you, Pear? <laughs> oh no. Uh, um. Let's let's not do the unkind thing. Uh. I might be. Oh 
nice of you to find the time to call me. It gets so lonely. Oh, Even fuck. the animals have died. That's not good. Are you sure you're here? Your voice, it's different. I... There. Chrysanthemum. Her voice is drowned in white noise. You get a sinking feeling. It makes you look if Lieutenant Kitsuragi overheard you. To your relief, he did not. We'll come back and call later, maybe. We'll, we'll, that's... <laughs> um... <laughs> Keep going? Chat, is this a good idea? Is... <laughs> You pick up the handset. There's a tone. The machine is up. <laughs> Calling. If... Okay. Still calling. Someone with a masculine voice picks up. Hello, Gerard speaking. Gerard, what a douche name. Change it, change your name. What are you, like five? Thanks for calling, asshole. Phone hanging up. Disconnect tone. <laughs> calling, 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 still calling, still calling. Stop calling me, man. I'll get you your money, all right? I just need to tonight. Let me work. Yeah, but a slight change in plans. I want this delivered to the whirling and rags and martinets. I, um... Uh... Hey, fuck you! You figured it hey, out. <laughs> you're not Tethys. Screw you, and don't ever call here again. You're fucking with some serious people. Yeah. <laughs> Disconnect. <clears throat> sorry. Sorry, Kim. I'm sorry, Kim. Kim, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Kim. And the little guy gets smaller and smaller. This one isn't voice acted. That's weird. The other ones have been. As you rise above the dollhouse world, you see him out in the snow, on the streets, in the shop in the corner, and finally in a matchbox house, sitting in the window, by the window, white flowers on the windowsill. You can smell them from up here. It's awful. A white morning. A modern death. Divorce or something similar. All you can do is put more distance between you and him, make him smaller, make him less you. Plus 20 zoom out distance. Yo, okay. <laughs> hey, so a little observation. It's all cool, man. Don't freak out, but every time you say I am the law, and you say it a lot, it's basically hello for you. Your jaw <laughs> does this weird thing. It sort of shifts sideways, hanging off your face at a jaunty angle, while the word law sounds oddly guttural and low. It's strange. You wouldn't notice it, but after saying it, you're the law 80,000 times. The question does come up. Why do you have the law jaw? <laughs> I'm the law. Wait, some aren't voice acted due to budget. The director's cut actually redid some audio, like all of Kuno's lines. They redid all of Kuno's lines in the director's cut? Why? I don't know, man. I think Kuno's lines are perfect. <laughs> they redid a lot of people's lines. Really? Huh. I, uh... There was relatively little voice acting in the original release. Original Titus was genuinely awful. Oh, okay. I was sort of confused. I thought I was playing the original, but this is like the director's cut version? Question mark? Okay, okay, got it.
Hi. Here we go. Nice and easy. No way out, little guys. Not out of this gem. There's a cylinder on the ground in which the man is arranging some netting. Who's there? Oh, the police. Is that the police? Why are the police here? Gary the Crypto Fascist. Don't worry, Gary. Oh, shit. I'll handle it. Oh, shit. I met your wife. Maybe the water lock is fixed. We were supposed to go back to Martin A's a couple of days ago. But that damn water lock is broken. Yeah, that was me. I broke the water lock with my motor carriage, but it's fixed now. You can go back. Water lock's been fixed. It was fine when I crossed it. Oh, good. It. We should really be getting back. Did he say we can go back now? Yes, Gary. We can go soon. Mm, are you doing some kind of science here? A science person. The so-called science community <laughs> hasn't accepted me as one of their own quite yet. Oh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm Morel, a cryptozoologist. I'm out here looking for a rare insect called the Insulindian Phasmid. I'd shake your hand, but, uh... I'm looking for a suspect. Have you seen a woman with red hair? I'm afraid not, officer. I've been busy digging around in the reeds for days, looking for signs of insect activity. I'm less interested in mammalian concerns, to be perfectly honest. The lieutenant takes a short note in his notebook, then gestures for you to proceed. Tell me about this phasmid you're looking for. Hmm. Well... First of all, it's damn difficult to find, which is why we've been knee-deep in the reeds laying traps for it. What makes it so difficult? Good question. Being a phasmid of the order Phantasmodea, a ghost insect, it disguises itself as plant matter. In this case, the reeds. Awful lot of reeds around, aren't there? And I suspect it may have also developed other specialised techniques to protect itself from predators. All scientists, it's my hypothesis that it has evolved certain electrochemical oh. defences that allow it to interfere with animal perception, impeding pattern recognition, uh -huh. confusing the visual cortex. But I cannot describe how these defences work, much less how they evolved, without studying a live specimen. Yes, it makes perfect sense. You're beginning to suspect there's uh -huh, something uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, 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 sure. Ghost bug. How big is this phasmid? I'm expecting it to be quite giant. One known species of phasmid, called the Megaphasmodea zoensis, is about the size of a grown man's forearm. So, uh... Well, you discovered about it so far. Very little, I'm sorry to say. No one's ever captured a specimen, so all our information is based on first... And third-hand accounts. No second-hand accounts? No one's ever found one. Not yet. That's what makes it a cryptid. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Just out of curiosity, if there's no proof of its existence, how do you know it's real? I know it's real. By which I mean, I've heard enough first-hand accounts to believe quite firmly that the Insulindian phasmid He's more than mere superstition. Why it makes you think it's in Martinez? There was a credible sighting here recently. A pair of teenagers described a creature that matched the Insulindian phasmid to an uncanny degree, despite not knowing what it was themselves. It's the first credible sighting in several decades. Admittedly, it's an unusual location for this species, but with all the sewage oh, running up died out. I have to resist the thought. Such an extraordinary creature is doubtlessly highly resilient. Um. Um. Parthenogenesis. Yes. The females don't need males to reproduce. Oh. Makes it easier for a species to survive in adverse conditions. That's pretty clever. I know about the lesbian lizards and shit. Yes. The Insulindian phasmid. He's a very <clears throat> clever insect. That's why it's so damn difficult to catch. But as a scientist, I'll try my best to remain dispassionate. Tell me about these traps. Well, they may not look impressive, but 
but Lena designed them quite cleverly, so I'm sure they'll do the trick. Yes. More than some, he admires this about her. How do they work? Simple. Attracted by the locusts, the phasmid crawls down the funnel. And at least, that's the intention. The net isn't a perfect solution. What do you use? Bait? Locusts? Right. Nearly all known phasmid. Inside the traps, a number of locusts, a meat-eating stick insect. This is so irrelevant! This is irrelevant! This ambush behavior. This seems unlikely. A carnivorous stick insect seems unlikely. Thank you for your opinion. Oh. We have also included plant material in the traps to satiate your skepticism. It's not even lore, chat. It's a it's a cryptid. <laughs> not a big fan of skepticism, this one. Yes. What? How'd you become a cryptozoologist? I've just always liked animals and puzzles. Searching for cryptids is a bit of both. He seems reluctant to talk about himself, but he'll open up if you mm. prod a little. So you're living your childhood dream out here. It's not child's play. Just because I have to trade through the mud every so often. Why not just a zoologist? Real animals are puzzling too. Real? <laughs> I know you think one is a respectable profession, while the other is superstition. Everyone does. Yeah, being a cryptozoologist trumps most of the garbage I've seen people do. <clears throat> My methods do not differ from other scientists. I simply draw upon a wider variety of evidence. Your nerve endings tell you there is no such thing as a positive surprise. Does anything truly surprising happen no. to you? As I said, I have yet to catch a cryptid. Oh. Although I have come Bummer. close. Close enough to keep trying. Ugh. What kind of evidence do you use? Everything from forgotten regional law to newspaper accounts. Like the one that brought us here. To look for the phasmid. I keep a very open mind. But you've never actually discovered a cryptid. No. Very few cryptids are ever discovered. And not for a lack of trying. To stay hidden is a cryptid's primary quality. It's even in the name. Yeah, cryptid. how many cryptids have been found? Of the list of cryptids kept by the Cryptozoological Society of Shemni, which is 4,082 items long, about 2,000 have been confirmed as hoaxes. Two are categorized as confirmed discoveries. The rest are in differing stages of discovery, reputation, and data collection. Only two have been proven to be real? I mean, it was like... I... I... Okay, sorry. Yes, the Chateau Quan forest pygmy, who turned out to be an extinct species of primate, and a cave salamander from Hugo Grad, who is, honestly, quite unremarkable. It's in a zoo <laughs> somewhere. We cryptozoologists are brutally honest with ourselves, more so even than the public. With yes. cryptids, most cryptids are hoaxes or they are never found. That does not mean we should stop searching. Yes, yes, then the Phasmin will be the third. Indeed. Yes. If our expedition is successful, every paper in the world will report on it. From he has clearly done his math on this. There is no surprising him or cool. swaying his opinion. Yes. Let's talk about specific cryptids. All right. We would have to discuss. He wants to say, but yeah, the sounds yeah. against it. Which one did you almost catch? Yeah, thanks for the 21 months, or that. A willow person. It's a long story. One non-specialists would find rather dull. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. What's what's willow people? They're not people, really. Oh. Some argue they Sorry. aren't really animals. As they seem to have evolved directly from trees. They're oh. very, very thin. Almost flat, in fact and can camouflage themselves easily, wrapping themselves around trees and blending in with the tree bark. In that way, 
They're not too dissimilar from the phasmid we're looking for How here. did you almost catch one? Harry and I painted an entire grove's worth of trees in slow drying paint after waiting in hiding for hours. I saw a figure slip from one of the trees, a lavender shadow dashing through the grove. And then? I chased it with a knit. Not very <laughs> elegant. You can't be elegant in the field. A lavender shadow. I know you think we were snacking on fanny mushrooms. Furthermore, I'm not saying it was a confirmed sighting. I'm by all means. Damn, that, that's a bummer, man. I'm not gonna talk to crypto fascist right now because I'm a little texted out. I'm taking a break from learning about crypto shit for the moment. <laughs> Actually, unless he saw Ruby, I'll just I'll just ask that. Hello, I'm Gary. <laughs> How do you do, officer? Hello. Yellow man. I mean, officer. Gary! G <laughs> Gary the crypto fascist! The lieutenant raises his eyebrows slightly and takes out his notebook. Yellow man. Interesting. This is something to ask him about. No, you After don't need to ask him anything! First. I'm just waiting for my friend Morel to finish up with his insect trap so <laughs> we can return to civilization. Should I show him the bug? No! <laughs> not a lover of the great outdoors, huh? I like nature, just not this bloody coast. It's mostly drunks and degenerates that come here. <laughs> Sadly, I think I may be a drunk. Or a degenerate. Maybe even both. Dark times will do that to good men. <laughs> Is this your mug? My mug? W why would you think that? I can see you recognize it. It's in your eyes. I may have had a similar looking mug in the past. Oh my god, Gary! All. All right, I believe you. You look like the kind of man who knows it's a crime to lie to an officer. Okay, okay, I admit. <laughs> I Fuck. threw the mug away in the trash container behind the hostel. I know I shouldn't have, and I am very sorry, officer. You're not going to find me, are you? I would, but I don't know how. Hey, Kim, Kim, Kim. How do we find this guy? Using a standard form, officer. It's 50 real. You're getting off easy. In return, we expect information. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Kim. You shave his asshole. <laughs> shave his asshole, Kim. What did you do, Gary? Nothing. Nothing. Just answering some questions. Helping out the law. How'd you get into the trash container? I know a guy who works with the trash collection services. CS Municipal. He gave me a master key for the trash containers of Martinez. Why would you need to get into everyone's trash? So I can use the Whirling's trash compactor to store my own stuff. Garbage disposal is expensive as hell. The damn Bohemians run it like a mob. I'm sorry, okay? I thought I could cut costs. Disgraced. No need for the histrionic, sir. It was, after all, just a trash container. He studies his reaction. Gary doesn't answer. Hmm. Did you put the clothes of a murder victim in there? Officer, please. Let me explain. It's not like that. Uh, okay, go on, Gary. I was only cleaning up. I live right across the yard from where he was hanged, and I saw him stripped naked. All the clothes lying around in the yard, smelling. People are animals, you know? Yes, yes. What happened? Then I came out to clean up the rags because no one else would. I put them into the Whirling's trash, along with a broken mug, admittedly. Okay. I was coming to throw the mug away, and, well, I threw the what? mug there and the clothes what? too. Right. It was just civic duty. Exactly. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> civic duty. 
And this guy just like folds like a fucking napkin. You don't even need to say anything. You just look at him and he's like, mm, yes, I did. Yes, I did all of that. And you would know anything about the victim's missing armor, would you? Armor? No. I, I mean, yes, of course. I know he was wearing armor. An infant could see he's not telling the truth, but he's too scared to admit more wrongdoing. I hope I can help your investigation, in my mm. small way. Clinking sound. <laughs> Just, <sighs> I'll, be, I'll be right back. I'll be right back, Gary. Composure? Do I have any composure? No. Composure. I mean, I might as well level up. I have skill points sitting around. Maybe if we get him to talk more? I think the shoes give it. Oh, shit. The shoes? No. Oh, these shoes. Yeah, but we're already wearing those. Always a pleasure. Why not try to before see leveling? Because I wasn't thinking about I it. I mean, officers. Maybe we can. Uh, let's call, let's talk to him first. Maybe we can like break his morale or something. Do you know anything about the man hanging behind the whirling and rags? I told you everything I know, sir. He's not feeling too comfortable in his own skin. Odd, I'd say. Yeah, shake him down. Shake him down. shifting around doesn't make him the killer, though. It's something else. Hmm, you were surprised to see my colleague. Not many Seolites here, or anywhere, other than Sale. I meant no offense, truly. Ah. <laughs> uh. Nah, I, I have to back him up. Even though maybe he'd be more willing to talk to me if I did this. You have a problem with zeolites? No, no problem at all. Mm. Not many zeolites here. He's or native anywhere. of Revachol. Uh, oh, yes, of course he is. I was just speaking about his connections. Um, looks Let's towards change Kim. the subject. Okay. Are you no, no. I help Morel with research sometimes, and I've learned some things along the way. But I don't usually go in for picnics like this on my own. Naughty boys get Omega pressed. Guy, I I cannot press Gary more. All right, we're gonna give it a shot. Maybe your luck will come around. Oof. Is he? He's looking comfortable enough. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was just beads. Sounded like beads. <laughs> but what kind of beads might a man like Gary be hiding in his clothes? Gary, are you cross-dressing? Why would I do that, officer? To feel closer to the fair sex. But, officer, I'm not wearing any women's clothes. Oh. He's cheating in chess. <laughs> Fuck. Honestly, yeah, I probably should have done the other, the submer subverse, you're like a dangerous subversive. I think I need to know. I think I need to know. Thoughts? Hear that? Magnesium. That's what you're lacking. The lack of magnesium has you slouched. There's a lack of magnesium in me. Yes, and it's critical. Look at yourself. You're practically devolving into a fish ah, due to the lack so of magnesium. I need magnesium to mag it sideways. Mag it sideways? What are you talking about? Oh, we need you to mag it mag up. up. You've probably had two heart attacks. And yes, if you want to live, you need to evolve. 
You need to transcend the carbon okay. barrier. Go to the apothecary and buy insane amounts of magnesium. I love how he just sometimes has these stupid fucking little impulse thoughts. Like... <laughs> You need to like get fucked up on magnesium, Harry. I mean, officers. Okay. Fuck. Uh, uh, uh. Always a pleasure. I mean, officer. Okay. Always a pleasure to see an art. I mean, I love this officer. fucking bit. I love that this shirt bit. Love this bit. Very uncomfortable on him. Look at the buttons. Oh. Barely keeping that thing together, as if something is ready to rip out from underneath. Oh, F5 is quick save. F9 is quick load. Okay, okay. I, I don't save scum that often. <laughs> something worn underneath. Yes, like a piece of ceramic armor, for example. One that makes a clicking sound when the plates meet each other, resembling pearls or marbles, hmm. stolen from the corpse in the yard near where he lives. I see you're a connoisseur of high quality combat gear. I knew you'd figure it out, officer. I'm sorry I didn't tell you <laughs> at once. You fucking fools. I was... I, 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 I was ashamed of what I did, and I didn't want you to know. We're not detecting falsehood, sire. He's gearing up to admit the truth. This shame is surprisingly sincere. Gary, what's going on? Later, morale. I've got apologizing to do. <laughs> no, you've got explaining to do. Why did you really put those clothes in the trash? Everyone was picking those pieces off him, and I was watching them do it. So I went there to take out the trash and started cleaning up. All those rags on the ground, him swinging up there, and I had a lapse of honor, sir. I thought, he's a foreigner. They all say he wasn't from here. Only the caress was left. So I stripped it off him. It was early in the morning. No one saw me. I took it with me. It was a mistake. Had I known it'd give you guys trouble, I, I wouldn't have... Fuck. Oh, he's gonna cry! It's okay. <laughs> it was a loose end, and you are tiny tap now. I'm so fucking sorry I called you Yellow Man. <laughs> See how my officers commanded the suzerain's navy. Most of them sided with the king when... It's difficult to say what the lieutenant thinks of this historic apology. His face does not belie emotions. Why did you lie to me, Gary? Because I was weak. I should have told you the moment I saw you, but- The hell, Gary? You in trouble? I'll explain later. Do you know who killed the hanged man? I always thought it was the Union. Some Union hard asses lynched him because of the strike. But almost everyone in town knows that. I wish I could tell you more. This is all he knows. All right, Gary, give me the armor now. He sighs again, hangs his head, and unbuttons his shirt fully. A cuirass that matches the dead man's boots comes into view. Soon, it is in your hands. Yes, absolutely. I will never do anything like this again. Thank you for your cooperation, Gary. <laughs> World's strongest fascist. <laughs> Wear the armor. Pain threshold, volition, minus one empathy. Wait, it's kind of good. Because I really like my volition. Minus one empathy is kind of eh. The white ceramic cuirass hugs your torso, shielding your vitals without yeah, I'm, like lumpy. to your form. I will be responsible with this. 
garden of vitreous enamel, at once sleek and voluptuous, adds a glow to your cheeks and a spring to your step. Oh, you like that shit? Just imagine what a full suit of this stuff could do for you. You really do feel more confident. Invulnerability does that. Even partial invulnerability. This is the long sought after enemy technology. I can't just enjoy it. I must study it. No, we're probably just gonna end up selling it. Certainly. But you may want to hold on to the armor you have for long enough to properly oh. analyze it. Figure out its vulnerabilities. Okay. Remember, this is a highly specialized kinetic redistributor meant to stop bullets. Wear it. Observe its properties. See if there's a weakness in the design. Oh. For the day you have to fight someone covered in the same material. What? Huh? What? <laughs> You're not trying to tell me Disco Elysium has a boss fight. <laughs> Did I already come down here? No, I don't think so. Or maybe every, yeah, okay. Maybe everything just looks different now that it's covered in snow. Snow is a way of doing that, doesn't it? Talking to Everett was kind of a boss fight. <laughs> yeah, we did, we, we did fine, we did fine. Kuno all along! Did we? We should talk to these people. I kind of ran past them. And Mikhail noticed the windows. Especially with how there are no windows on the south side. This was to deal with. You officers, come to investigate the historic subtext of West Martinez? I'm Tran Heilostam. You must be Kim Kitsuragi, right? What the fuck? I was Who just is this telling guy? my son about this building. Not a lot of people realize the historic significance here. Nice to meet you. Hold, hold on. Hypertext? <laughs> yes, hypertext. Young Carp and the collection of cultural hyperlinks. He's just making up fancy words. This doesn't mean anything. What? What was that about the window? Oh, yes. So, Mikhail, uh... they had to deal with monitor glare, especially in the summer. They still had vector monitors back then. That was 49 years ago. So they didn't have windows on the south wall. You and Kim know each other? How? No, I can't say that we've met before. But I've heard of Kim, of course. Really? Mikhail, say hi to the officers. Small world? Mikhail's a little tired today. We spent all night trying to run Orbis on his radio computer. Have you heard of it? It's a programming language used in Grad. Quite tricky, but he wanted to play this Grad-made adventure program. We've been getting really into worms lately. The man speaks in the artificial cadence of a professor. But I assume you're not here for giant worms when there are so many real things to see. Just as I was telling Mikhail before, this is where the coalition landed in way. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck this guy's talking about what is the most either. This man is your half-brother. You feel it. But why? I'm <sighs> looking for a suspect. No, I'm afraid I can't help you with this one, officer. It's just a regular day off for me and Mikhail here. So, you haven't seen anyone around? No, I'm sorry. As I said, this is just a day off. There's something friendly and familiar in how he says that. A day off. A day off. A day off. So it's fascinating about an empty old building. Aha! But it's not just any empty old building. What not a lot of people know is, this used to be the R&D department of Felt Electrical. Hold on. What's R&D? What's an R&D? Apologies, it's an acronym for Research and Development. You're probably more familiar with RTD, Research and Technological Development. Mayor Kalpa, you are not familiar with that one either. This man is a bookhead. Hmm, let me look up it at it. It looks old and weathered, with seagulls picking apart its stone and metal carcass. Looks like shit. That's not surprising. Only a vestigial ink cartridge and ferrotape manufacturer remains. They started out as a midway electronics outfit in Königstein two centuries ago. After an aggressive move to Revachol, Feld became a global player in the emerging personal electronics. Still, Tricentennial was beating them in business machines. But Feld had an ace up their sleeve. Or should I say, they were developing 
and yeah, I'm getting asleep. real sick of this I'm nerd. I'm mixing my metaphors here. What's this? What's the ace? It was huh? here in Martinez, possibly the in this very building, that they developed prototypes for a, a tape, tape computer. computer. Mm -hmm. An elegant folding mechanism of rollers and ferro tape ribbons, portable enough to be a take-it-home solution, revolutionizing business machines, possibly even bring them to the average consumer, which is a feat of engineering even today's giants, Rehm, ICN, and Zum haven't achieved yet. He assumes something like a combat stance. Facing the wind. This fucking nerd pushes up his glasses, sticks his, sticks his buck teeth out. What happened? Indeed. What? The revolution. Unfortunately, their moonshot project never made it to the market. Aww. Feld's move to Revachol backfired. The revolutionary government liquefied their assets and expropriated those very advanced prototypes. Possibly from this very building. Or one of All of this was built by Feld, even a boardwalk. While Pines built Martinez proper as a resort for their middle management, Felt built this side of town for R&D. What did the revolutionaries do with the tape computers? They used them for military communications, but also to write and send out press releases. What's the Mars decree? I mean the radio transmission sent out to news agencies and world governments by the newly created Commune of Revachol on the 7th of March in the year 02. It's a beautiful piece of text, actually. A singer-songwriter I know, Charette, called it a love poem to River Shawl on her political... I tried to get Mikhail to memorize it. Tried to. Someone was much too interested in worms to be paying any attention. But of course, <laughs> what else? Uh, you look like someone who has money. I do have some money, yes, but that's not what's really important here. Oh, uh, I just wanted to know whether my profiling skills were working. Of course, detective. I wouldn't have assumed anything else. I don't know if you're familiar with this, but the Vespertine Department of Justice has published a rather interesting paper on the criminal profiling in former socialist states. Have you read it? Can't say I have. If not, then you definitely should. If not for tips and tricks, then just for theoretical curiosity. Anyway, no thanks to you for having me in. Bah. Gah. Gah. <laughs> I'm dying. Fuck, where are, where are we? Where are we? Ugh. Relax, it's not yours. Where, where are we, man? We didn't go down the bridge? Down the bridge? Wait, what's this? Oh, we're back here. Down the bridge? Huh. Up where the telephone is? Oh, um, yeah. I'll try to find that. Telephone was, yeah, telephone was here. Is, is this what you meant? What? No, we're not- we're not fucking with the phone again. Not for now. This is just the- we're just- The remaining windows rattle from a strong gust of wind. They're covered in a <sighs> thick layer of grime. They must have been like this for 40 years. Oofy, pass through the fence? Oh shit, I must have missed it. Cam, can you see in there? No. I won't even try. I had a partner once. They called him Eyes. Because he had to show me things. It's that bad. Oh. This partner of his, Eyes, things didn't end well. It saddens him to say his name. Don't even ask. He wouldn't answer. Hmm. Maybe some other small talk. Can you still shoot though? Well enough, actually. It's odd how that works. I'm no sharpshooter, but I pass my shooting courses 7 out of 10. Aww. You okay, bud? What the fuck? Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. Um. <laughs> Where are we going? Oh fuck! 
Okay, I just scrolled back in. What the fuck? Where are we? <laughs> Where? Okay, I. All right, we haven't been here yet. An yeah, we... old door, worn by elements, guards the depot. The wind has blown a thing? It's military. A service depot or something. Service what? The washerwoman mentioned a depot up the coast. She said it was for moving ammo and cargo across the bay. This might be from here to the whirling. I can't see how. The church is in the way. Hmm, okay. Yeah, no way. Interfacing two? Jesus. Jesus. Sheesh. Yeah, the gloves will definitely help. Let me just come back though. Oh, right. I don't think we even went into the church. Come on. Heavy wooden doors, more than twice your height, stand shut in front of you. The church The rectangular seaborn ornamentation We're here. appears in stark contrast to the padlock. Nothing happens, only the sound of the padlock rattling against the door. I don't think that's going to work. Do you think our suspect is hiding inside? I... No, probably not. She might be. The lieutenant nods silently. The carving on the door is block-like and angular, like the church itself. Two large beams shoot downwards, sinking into the wood before they reach the threshold. The doors remain unchanged. This cheap-looking padlock is sturdily built. It shackles together a hasp and a staple screwed into the wooden door. The lock is adorned with a yellow sticker. You see a yellow circle with two X's and a big curve below them that looks like a mouth. You're pretty sure you haven't seen it before, but hmm. what the symbol depicts is clear enough. A smiling dead guy. The curve makes it smile and the X's make it dead. You seen this shit, Kim? He takes off his glasses and you- No. What's it look like to you? Looks like a dead man smiling. Suggests junior delinquency. Okay. I haven't seen that sticker before, and I'm not a youth. Thus, it must be made by youths. Mm. The padlock passes through a staple that's been hastily attached to the wood. Closer inspection reveals that one of the screws is not a screw at all, but a nail. The work has been done recently, and is unprofessional, to say the least. Should you want to get through, it might be easier to just pry the whole thing off. This is where Mr. Prybar shows up. Maybe we should circle the building first and look for another way. There is a touch of guilt in his voice. <gasps> is he Catholic? Does he have Catholic guilt? Does he have the crushing weight of Catholic guilt in his soul? Is he being crushed? Where do you think we should start? Can you hear the pulsing bass underneath the wind? A sure sign of junior delinquency. Somewhere east of here. Hmm, let's try to peel it. God Your damn it! 60%! The piece of sticker keeps slipping away. Kim! Help! Help, Kim! Can I have the handkerchief? My hands are wet. The lieutenant hands you a blue handkerchief. He looks a little dismayed when he gets it back crumpled. Why do you However, sound so enthusiastic? It should be easier to peel the sticker off now. <laughs> Why do you sound th so enthusiastic about Catholic guilt? Because it's hot. There's nothing like the sound of a sticker on <laughs> Now it's stuck to your thumb. <laughs> Put the sticker on your ledger, right on the cover. Voila. Looks very modern. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would say he, Kim gives me Catholic guilt vibes. I would say so. I would, yeah, I, I think, I, I would think so, I think. Um, I don't have any strong opinions about it. Personally. <laughs> we bust it down. Heavy wooden door 
shoulders, more than twice your height. Step. You jam the pry bar between oh, yeah, the lock baby. and the staple and apply force. Your biceps bulge from the strain. The metal creaks and squeals. The pathetic old wood, rusty screws, and one nail stand no chance against the forces of leverage. From deep within, a bellow rips. Suddenly, the pry bar snaps. Metal shavings fly what everywhere. The, fuck? the upper half, between the lock and the staple, falls to the ground with a thunk. Huh? What the fuck? How is that even possible? Tools break, officer. Try to control yourself. For example, mm. see how calm I am, although you broke my favorite pry bar. Mm. The broken edge of the snapped pry bar is smooth. Took the tip right off. A bad omen. Beware of this church. I'm Kim. I broke the pry bar. I don't know. You don't? Or maybe we'll find a new one. I don't carry more than one pry bar with me. I thought this was a lousy way to enter a place of worship that's already in disrepair. I guess the church agreed. This was surely just a freak accident. Sure, surely, surely a freak accident. Kim, are you superstitious? I know you're Catholic and guilty, but are you also superstitious? Uh. There's a ladder up there. Cam, I don't think we're gonna find another way in. God damn it. Maybe somebody has a key. No, I'm gonna try this. I am gonna try this actually. Even though this is like an impossible check, I still think it would be fun to try, you know? It's a red check though, which means um, things are not looking too hot for us. An old door, worn by elements, guards the depot. Fuck, the wind even... has blown a sand dune in front of it. The door hasn't been opened in a long while. You Even see with... a handle. Nah, I don't think this is gonna work, bros. 3%. Yeah, it's a 3%. We put on the gloves, which is plus 2, but it didn't change the percentage at all. Like, we had interfacing 2, and now we have interfacing 4, and it's still 3%. This might just be a waste of our time, honestly. It is theoretically possible. Close to five hours. How long are we going? Um, I'll probably wrap up pretty soon. Can I get in through, like... There's nothing interactable, so maybe not. Just tarpaulin fabric covering a pile of stuff. The flap is open. Inside, three young men are listening to some new form of music. Yo, is that fucking it's like slurp core? I love that shit. One of them Let me in. Looks Come on, get in and close the flap behind you. The warm stuff's getting out. Yeah. Sorry, you barely have room for one. You go ahead. I'm too old for this. Okay, you're too old for slurp core, Kim? I'm actually not, he thinks. I just dislike delinquents. I'm sure you will feel right at home. I'll keep watch. Oh my god, okay, that was weird. Hey kids, you see what's up? A youngish man 
bleaching the tips of his hair with a toothbrush. He puts the toothbrush down and extends his hand in greeting. Hello, I'm Andre. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, Andre. His grip is strong, sweaty and warm. He's trying to project and inspire confidence. This party fucking rules! This is my posse. Noid. The young man with earrings looks at you suspiciously. You guys have ketamine? <laughs> An egghead. Oh, egghead? Egg! Oh, Jesus. Together with a little burger, who's out there right now, doing some seriously progressive sonic experimentation, we like to think of ourselves as music venue organizers. How many music venues have you organized? We have many in the pipeline, officer. Kuno could kill all these losers with a rock. <laughs> Why are you here? You see, we've been all over Jamrock North, prospecting for real estate to establish a new venue in. Artists are for talent. Yeah, thank you, Egghead. And while there is no shortage of raw, unfettered talent spinning tapes in Jamrock, we've had rotten luck with the real estate park. Place is a shit up. I, I apologize for my friend Noid's potty mouth. I realize this is <laughs> oh, not how you speak cute. to a police officer. He has authority issues. Oh, it's it's okay. Um, is there something you wanted? Or? Yeah, it's a matter of occupied ecclesiastical property. I bet you've noticed the derelict hive of Narcomania on the coast. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the church, and I'm not exaggerating. Even a place of spiritual refuge can become a magnet for all sorts of dopeheads and burnouts if left unattended. Dopeheads, burnouts. Well, I'm sad to say that's exactly what happened. Sad because we were just about to put Martin A's on the map with one of the maddest dance clubs in Jamrock. Nah, strike that in Revershaw. Yo, you guys, what happened? Strike that, the world. The world. And sad yet, because the dopeheads and burnouts hold up in there with the worst kind. He leans back a little, watching you with a steady, serious gaze, letting you imagine just how bad those dopeheads and burnouts really are. Good, this calls for an opinion. You're an expert in those. Hmm. I won't stand for narcomaniacs of any kind. No narcomaniacs on my watch. Yes, yes. And the worst part is, they're also spooky. What do you mean by spooky? I was hoping you would be the judge of that, officer. All I can say is, their spookiness is the kind that keeps us from restoring this church into a community center and a place of spiritual refuge. Also, they don't eat or clean the building. Shit's gonna collapse. People just wanna spin tapes without them spooking it up. Place has bad signs. No one can dance like that. No one can dance like that. Thank you, Egghead. Thanks, Egghead. So yeah, you're, you're gonna cool. look into you're it, cool. right? It should be a police matter. <laughs> Getting them out. Whatever spooky stuff they're doing, I'm sure it's not what the Ecclesiastes meant their property for. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, uh, I can do this for you. All right, man. Screw those, um, uh, club, uh, necromaniacs. Yeah, yeah, Andre's yeah. Andre's obviously very happy you took him seriously. The whole tent is. Did you guys put the, the padlock on the door? Giddy look. Yes. I asked Noi to install a measure against more drifters wandering in. It's a mm, temporary mm, fix. Mm, mm, just something mm, to contain the situation. I had to do it in an hurry. Not my best work, but it should hold for a while. Wait, you, wait, you lock people in there? <laughs> How long have they been locked in there? Not long. <laughs> Like a week, maybe? What if they starve to death? I'm super sure they're alive. I mean, mm, come on. Mm, I'm mm, at least 90%, mm. maybe 85% sure they're still alive. 85% is good enough. No one lives forever, baby. Hey, where's the punch ball? <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what we thought. <laughs> Achievement hyperstellar law official say seven deranged superstar lines. The cage of the rage, rough blade. Egg means the situation is monitored. It's relatively safe. No one has died yet. I need the key. Of course. Noid, give the officer the key. All right. Oh yeah. I can catch this. It's as if time has frozen somehow. You think you can sense the key moving in the air. Yeah, this is going to be way cool. Oh shit, I have... Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Blam! Straight in the eye. Straight in the old ah, eye. Ah. In the looking ball. Man up. It's nothing. Pick the goddamn key up. 
Ugh. Put it in your pocket and I'm, move on. I'm getting too old for this. My bad. He looks like he's genuinely sorry. He didn't throw them better. <laughs> As always, we'll be right here, waiting patiently for the news. Yeah. Wait, what's up? Wait, am I starting to what? Am I like lagging? Oh, I'm stuttering. Oh no. Okay, uh, it actually looks like, yeah. It looks like I'm dropping frames on OBS. No, 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 no. I need to like wrap up anyway. Wait, how long? It's lagging bad? How long is it? How long has it been lagging bad? Or did it just start lagging bad? It's been lagging for a long time. What? Why didn't anybody tell me? Aww. Okay. Well, um. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm just gonna end stream then because it looks like, yeah, I'm looking at my OBS and it's just like, it's just like looks kind of rough. Bummer. That sucks. Is VOD gone or those? Oh, those always go up after stream is done. Yeah. It only just started. Uh, oh shit. Okay. No, we're lagging really bad because my stream just, like my stream chat just like started. I, I think you guys are maybe a couple minutes behind me. Um. Okay. If my stream chat is behind me and I'm lagging, uh, I'm just gonna end stream. I'll let my mods find somebody to raid. Because I can't do anything. I hope you guys have a good rest of your evening. I, uh, I will be back. I will be back on Thursday. I'll be back on Thursday. I'll do some live 2D. Uh, no D&D &D tomorrow. <gasps> I am going to...